This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Squarespace. Big plans for the new year? Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a unique website, showcase your work, blog, or publish content, even sell products and services of all kinds in just a few clicks of the mouse, my dear boy. You can customize everything from look and feel to settings and products using beautiful templates created by world-class designers. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's do it. I say go. T shirt. I just met you, and this is crazy, but please bend over and accept my gravy. Welcome to Comedy oh, Bang Bang. Oh, oh Happy that holidays. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, Jeez, Louise. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thanks to Shampoodler. Oh, Shampoodler. Oh, finally. This motherfucker's oh, back. Oh, man. Enough of that filth, Shampoodler. We'll see you next year. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang, and uh, this is it. This is our end of the year holiday spectacular, and boy, oh boy, what a show we have plan for you today. A lot of water is being poured, and you know what that means. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was a little behind schedule. I just got just You're landed. ahead of schedule. You usually come in five minutes late to talk about the water. I know. I'm sorry, but I just landed from a Perillo Toys. And you're just pour. You are pouring from a giant jug into a, like a smaller jug. Yes, I'm going jug to jug, baby. <laughs> Jug to jug, also one of my favorite, my favorite search terms. I was uh-huh. just going <laughs> to right. say, one of my favorite porn hub categories. Sure. Okay, here we go. I'm Scott Ackerman. Hi, Scott Ackerman. I'm the host, and uh, did I just hear a ghost? <laughs> I'm the host. With no, the ghost. not a ghost. <laughs> Uh, and this is our end of the year special. We're going to have a lot of guests on today. A lot of our, our old favorites, some of our new favorites, and uh, some people we don't like very much. But um, <laughs> Make sure you tell each and every person yeah, like, where they fall on the continuum. Exactly. Okay, uh, I didn't know he was going to be talking to, so I gotta, we got to redo the whole thing. With yeah, please levels. redo. Yeah, the levels sound very, very odd. By I'm the way, sorry. you're not doing the levels. We have, of I know, course, but I'm going to convey all that information to Brett. Okay, yeah. We have, of course, uh, Engineer Brett here, and I do want to talk about Engineer Brett because oh boy. a lot of times... Times on the show, we have, uh, mu- as Don Pardo said, musical guests, and uh, this year has been no exception, and uh, we have a very special one in today, because usually Engineer Brett is the person who records uh, the majority of our musical guests, but today it's Musician Record Thyself, <gasps> because uh, uh, Brett- auto, auto erotic recording. <laughs> Because Brett is currently uh, uh, doing service. Can you open that right into the mic, Paul? I mean, like, like, a, like a nana at the theater <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a. They didn't make the announcement. I need a peppermint. I need a peppermint and some gelt. I'm Is having, that gelt? Are you eating gelt? I'm having celery wrapped in cellophane, my favorite theater snack. All right, that's Mayor Junius <laughs> Bubble Junior. No, it's not. I'm a different person. Oh, oh you really? are? You sound exactly that's like a, Mayor Junior. No, Jun- I don't. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Coming up a little later on the show, Mayor <laughs> Junius Bobble Doonery, who sounds nothing like that. Uh, but today, today, Brett has been uh, uh, doing some time in a uh, in a band in his off hours. Uh, he's been playing the bass guitar, I believe. Is that is that what That's you're holding correct, right now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Slapping the bass. <laughs> I seen that fucking movie. <laughs> Thank you, Gino. Uh, and on Kurt- fire already, Bye. Gino. <laughs> Currently, you are uh, in this band, which is entitled Mister Heavenly. Which is uh, a, a wonderful musical combination there, and you're all here today, and you're going to be playing us songs the entire hour or two hours, isn't that right? We're all. Let's be here. honest; it's going to be more than three hours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go through it. Uh, we today we have Joe, Nick, Ryan, and Brett, Mister Heavenly. Hello, guys. Hi there. Hello. Can Thanks I, for having us. Can I talk in this episode? <laughs> yeah. Please. Shut the fuck all up. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, you can. Into your bass guitar. Oh, into the pickups. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Uh, hi guys, How, uh, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh boy, some of that um, <laughs> magneticism that musicians are known for. Uh, their current album is Boxing the Moonlight, which is out now and available at all major retailers, is that correct? Uh, not all of them. 
Really? Which yeah. ones have Which you decided? One, yeah, what are you boycotting? Uh, Tap. CD Baby. We actually just had it removed from CD Baby. Why is that, baby? You turns say baby, they too? they were ripping everyone off. <laughs> yeah, it turns out. Oh. R- yeah. Ripping everyone off in what way? They were supposed to be helping the artist, and they were... They were hurting the artist? Hurting the artist. Taking oh the money. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. It's time for CD Baby to grow up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> CD Adult. Uh, that's those CDs I listen to. Mm. <laughs> adult contemporary I CDs. Also Do you know see, that's all you listen to is I, adult contemporary music? Oh, yeah. It's like modern porno sounds. <laughs> yeah. But that's CD, S-E-E-D-Y. CD yes. adult. CD adults. Mm-hmm. Uh, They're botanists and, and gardeners. Sexy but. botanists. And you guys are going to be playing songs from your new record. Uh, d- d- and, and Nick, uh, have you been on the show before or just Analyze Fish? I don't recall. Um, no, I, and I did a couple who charted. Couple who charted, yeah. of course. Uh, you are, uh, uh, should I say, for primarily no. known, or, or are are you equally known for all of your endeavors? <laughs> but I was going to say you're you're the uh, uh, the person from Islands. Yes, yes. So yeah, music would be the primary um, source of <laughs> my knownness, other than for your friends, and and that I'm a good friend and just kind of. A, you're yeah. a compassionate fellow. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, Affable. Mm-hmm. Why are the giver. other people You're in the giver. band not giving they you eye contact? Right? He's a giver. He's, Nick's a real giver, right, Ryan? He takes two. Oh, wow. I haven't had a take. You're like the Only CD baby of people. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> why don't we go around the horn and uh, now that that has brought the show to an abrupt halt. <laughs> Now that we started the Christmas... <laughs> no, wait. We start sh- every Christmas special with an extended Brett Morris interview, just like the fans are clamming for. We're going to be hearing songs from them a little later. You're going to play four songs for us, is that right? Four songs. Oh, this is a, quite a treat. Please chime in as often as you like. <laughs> that goes for everybody. Probably more than I'd like. Um, let's go around the horn. Who was that just singing ba 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 Who the fuck do you think it was, bitch? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think it was? <laughs> That's right, our old friend Ho-Ho is here. Hello, Hello Ho-Ho. Ho-Ho. Uh, Ho-Ho, of course, Ho-ho. the naughty elf. Mm-hmm. Uh, who, Spank me, Daddy. <laughs> who works up at the North Pole. I don't work, I jerk off. <laughs> like Very this. Good. Oh, Spank! God. Holy oh, Jesus. shit. What? The Ho-Ho, speed what? and strength. God. Ho-Ho just jerked Hello. off his candy cane dick. Mm, and and it came snow. Aren't you all glad? Doesn't usually snow in L.A. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ho-Ho. Uh, I, God, I can't it. imagine it's why Gino's running around licking, trying to catch it in his mouth. Oh, you got to catch them fucking libtard <laughs> snowflakes any chance you can. Catch them all. <laughs> got to catch them all. That's me, Ash, from Pokemon. Uh-huh. Of course, uh, the person talking right now is Gino Lombardo. But I won't be talking anymore after this. Once oh, really? you introduce all 11 people that are here, okay. I'm going to just kind of back off. And since Brett's doing double duties, I'll keep track of the board. That's right, Brett. You are still going to be tending to the board. Is that right? Because yeah, I, don't, I don't trust Gino anymore. Anywhere near it. That's all I've been doing basically this whole time. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> After Gino shut me down. Gino, my uh, intern, of course, who flies in from uh, Long Island. Is that yep, where you're from? I fly in from uh, the White Plains Airport. <laughs> Wait, no, I drive up to the White Plains Airport and right. fly in. Yeah. Fly into where? What airport does that go to? I goes to Palm Springs, and then I do like a light weekend there as sort of like a. Uh, you know, I don't know how to, like a human table, whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. what table. are you talking about? You're human a human table? table? Old rich gay dudes lo- love tables, but they also like little skinny boys. <laughs> so they put like tea and shit on my back and I sit on all floors by the pool and oh. they just eat and drink off of me. Okay, I've never heard of this. Are That's you like clothed? That's a good money maker. <laughs> I'm clothed and then once the uh, sun goes down, I'm allowed to remove my, because they, they don't want me getting all sunburned. Wait, you're, you're, you want to be removing your clothes Because it's fucking hot sitting on all floors in Palm Springs in a full leather their bodysuit it's exhausting oh okay I didn't know yeah, we didn't hear about that in your ass crack they don't but I come with it oh you come with it no oh, no I arrive at the party f- with my ass with I'm gonna arrive right home. now Wee! <laughs> oh my god it's snowing again oh god <laughs> oh god Ugh. actually it tastes pretty good yeah you would say that uh, it's minty and so, and so every single time you've done the show, you've flown into Palm Springs and I've got to do this? a weekend in Palm Springs. It's just easier that Does way. Does that pay I'm already, for the trip? That pretty much covered, because, you know, I'm an intern, so I'm just sure. getting college credits for the last four years. Right. And uh, So you must be ready to graduate. Yeah, I have uh, 11 minors at Nassau Community College. Wow. I haven't picked mm. a major yet, though. Oh, ha- yeah. oh have not. No. You, are you going to graduate? Sounds a lot like Roy Moore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 11 minors. <laughs> 
He majors in minors. <laughs> he may be elected senator at this point. Oh, at this point, in all likelihood. <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ. Um, so, uh, well, well, good for you. You're, well, thank, yeah, you I mean, know, you're out there making it happen. I appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm a little tired because I did a Perillo Tours. What is what is Perillo Tours? What does that mean? <laughs> That's when uh, they get a bunch of people from Long Island and take them to Italy. Is that not a thing that everybody knows? No, about? no. I think that might That's, be just a Long Island thing. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense because they pick everyone up at um, All American Burger on Merrick Road in Syosset. And That's right, Gino. It's me, Mario Perillo. Hey, <laughs> Mario I love, Perillo. I love taking people on tours to Italy. I thought you were driving behind me all the way from fucking Palm Springs. It's you, Mario. Got, gotta go. All right. Well, wow. thanks. Mario Perillo of- and that old woman with the candy just Wait, walked Mario. off together. <laughs> This episode of Comedy Bang Bang brought to you by Perillo Tours <laughs> and uh, Brock's Candy. And s- <laughs> speaking of people speaking, uh, the person right to my left that you just heard speaking, Jason Manzukis. Hooray! Currently in The Disaster Artist and sent yes, those everywhere. very briefly, but sure. Mm, sure, why not? Uh, how so are other you? movies you've been in longer, but they, you know... No, I'm just setting expectations, that's sure, all. Sure, just setting sure. expectations. Of course. Um, how are you? Uh, I'm great. How are you? Um, uh, we were both sick this week. That's right. Uh, still uh, kind of uh, over the, still trying to get over the hump. You really? saw, you bit, saw yeah. each other in the hospital? Yeah. 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 yeah we, we held hands. Were you we washing hands. each other's bodies with a, with a sponge bag? Come on, Ho Ho. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> who, <laughs> who, has better, it. who has better coverage? <laughs> Whose AZT cocktail costs less? Hey, come on, Gino. Oh, God. God damn it, Gino. First with the Roy Moore jokes, and now this? I, I don't know about that, Scott. <laughs> um, you a big fan of uh, Mr. Heavenly here? A uh, huge fan of Mr. Heavenly. Right. The, the, the cannot believe we got him. Is that reciprocated, Mr. Heavenly? I keep saying to Mr. Heavenly, I don't know what they do to Brett, but like uh, the rest of the band, home run. You don't know what they do to me? No. What they're doing with you. I don't know, Brett. Uh, I don't know. I know what they're doing to you. That's for I sure. know what they're Gino. doing with you. <laughs> Of course, oh, yeah. uh, uh, right over here, bringing up the rear, uh, as they say, uh, our old friend, we haven't seen him in a while, uh, he is a formerly deceased musical idol <laughs> who decided true. to come back to life. Uh, John Lennon is oh, here. Hello. hello, drums. Yes. I always forget, to, I want to get that out of the way. Get it, get it right out of the way, yes. Very you good. know, you were talking about the bass guitar earlier. I certainly was. Yeah, you Thank know, you Brett, for listening. We, <laughs> that's, I came in on that part. Uh, okay. We used to have a bass guitar in our band. <laughs> You're, uh, you're the Beatles, yeah, right. Know. The band, the European band, I played in. Yes, of course. One yeah. of our, one of our guys played uh, bass. Yeah, Paul McCartney. Yeah, we. That's know. right. You know him. Yeah, yeah. As well. It's a very famous band. Sure, and, and we never really switched it up much. It was usually just him on the bass, mostly. R- yeah, sure. But you were all very musically proficient. I would say so. Yeah, we were a big band. Yeah. Did well, he enjoy slapping the bass? <laughs> Oh, he would pluck it and slap it and do everything to it, but uh, I wouldn't. I never touched it. You never touched his bass? Couldn't. Go, why not? Sh- no, I shouldn't, and I wouldn't. Oh, okay, but you could. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> so now, do, do you know the music of Mr. Heavenly? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, that's where I got to leave it. I, that must I don't. be shattering to a band, to be in the yeah. same room with a rock icon and have them, have him just dismiss them out of hand. I, it wasn't dismissing, it's just a statement of fact. I can't say, sure, I know him, I love him, I know every word. Because then you're going to say, well, sing some of it, and I'm going to be, you know, looking like a fool. And we, ref- I think Ryan references you in one of our songs, Ugh. Cocaine. <laughs> what? I think Ryan references you in Who's one talking? of our songs with the term oh, Cocaine. Okay, well, I'll keep an ear out for that okay, one. Okay, yeah. So if you hear the word cocaine anywhere. <laughs> That's me? <laughs> That's you, whispering cocaine. Oh, it, oh, it sounds see. like cookie, yeah. but I'm really saying cocaine. This sounds exciting. It's sort of you got to figure out and decode the whole song. <laughs> is, is there, you the said there's a part what? in every song for each one of us? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be looking out for my part. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, do you guys do any mosh pitting at your shows? <laughs> Uh, we d- we dive a little. We do a bit of stage diving. Okay, we I'll make sure to stay away because I don't want to be responsible for holding you up because <laughs> you might hurt yourself. Because you have brittle little arms from being dead. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, I thought you were dead. Yeah, but those five, I was dead. Those now five years you were dead though. Like, did you decompose at all? Is- you do a little bit, but once you decide to come back, your your bones and your you muscles regenerate thoop, right back out. Oh, really? Uh, okay. So you're as strong as you ever were, uh, and a little bit more. Okay, but you're oh. not a, you're not a bodybuilder. Do you have any kind of like superpowers having come back? From no, the no. Day? I just stronger? go stronger. I go to the gym. Is oh, being yeah. a mortal not enough? Jason? Do you do CrossFit? I try to. I do a lot of uh, parkour. 
<laughs> in, in the gym. John Lennon doing a lot of parkour right, in I'll, the gym. I'll jump around the weights and things like <laughs> that. that. People, does that bother people? Hate people? It. Oh, they hate it. They hate it. I said, well, I'm paying the money to be here. <laughs> well, they are too. Because like, are... That's what they say to me. Right. And right. By, by the time, you know, they want me to respond, I'm already jumping away. You, well, you can't you, you can't go into a movie theater and start doing parkour in the middle of a movie theater. You... Uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm saying you shouldn't. And, and, and should not. And but don't. I did. <laughs> All right, well, seems like you're not that great at uh, taking instructions some of the time, but as far as Paul McCartney's bass... T- to leave it alone. Yeah. Or he'll snap you with it. Re- is that what would happen? Yeah, he would take the strings and, you know, pull them back and snap you. <laughs> Really? Like a bra like a bra strap? <laughs> right. He'd make you wear the bass. <laughs> like a bra. He'd trick you into it. Say, oh, you want to play it so bad? Oh, sure, I'd love to play it. You put it on, then he pulls it back. Let me just show you how to do it. Snaps you. Oh. Oh. Don't ever touch that again, you fucking asshole. Oh, my God. Well, he, he sounds like a naughty boy, Ho-Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Was he on the naughty list? <laughs> Ho-Ho likes that. <laughs> He's an old man. <laughs> right, but he... What, when he was a baby? You want to know if he was on the naughty list? Yeah, although when does it, what's the cutoff? He's uh, an old man, but he has an old lady's haircut. Well, uh, <laughs> well, either way, that's old. Fair I only enough. fuck with little kids. <laughs> right, what's, what's the cutoff? Oh. Fuck with, like fuck with. <laughs> what's the cutoff? What, what, at what point do you not uh, give them presents in? Uh, once you stop believing in Santa Claus. Oh, well, for me, that was like, uh, I don't know, six years old or something. My parents told me there wasn't one. Oh, that's fucked up. Really? 50 yeah, years six, ago? You've six. spent the last 50 what? years not believing in Santa? 50 years? <laughs> Shut up. Did they want credit for buying you the shitty gifts? Yeah, were they, did, were they just not wanting to like put up with your whining about Santa anymore? I And they made it seem like I was too old for even thinking that there was a Santa Claus. <laughs> did you go into their closet and find the ball and cup that they were going to give you for Christmas? <laughs> with your, your orange in your stocking? <laughs> Look, I didn't grow up well off. I'm sorry. Some old bubble wrap. (laughs) Pre-popped. Modern invention. (laughs) This is a busy time of year for you, Ho-Ho. Busy, busy, Mm Ho-Ho. I got to go make a bunch of stuff this year just to give people... Everyone's feeling really upset about the current climate, so they want to hurt people, and I got to help them. What kind of toys are popular this year? Um, guns. (laughs) Everyone wants a gun. Yeah. Pink gun. What about? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't, for girls. You know, I think I think guns, especially these days, with what hap- what's been happening all over the uh, all over the world, especially in this country, though, I, is that really a responsible gift? If everyone had a gun, they wouldn't have died. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, you know, all this talk about guns is sort of making me. It's just flashing me back to a <laughs> split second of my life that I hated. <laughs> Was it painful when was you it, died? Was it recording Let It Be? Did you go straight to <laughs> no, no, hell? I had fun doing that. <laughs> you had fun? I had fun recording those songs. Really? Yeah, because you know there are a lot of fun songs to do. Yeah, what about Octopus's Garden? You have fun <laughs> doing that? That one's fun because that you feel like sucks. you're on the water. Hey! <laughs> hey! Anyone who likes that song in Yellow Submarine is a bitch. I happen to like those songs very much. Well, they suck. Well, they're from my friend, okay? Not a big not a big Ringo Starr fan, eh? Ho-ho. My friend made those, and he, he put his ass on the line to make those songs. <laughs> he put his ass on the line? On a line yeah. of Coke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used to sit on the Coke and fart on it. And then, and then, you know, you don't waste it, so we would do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got you terribly used to sick. snort, farted upon Coke? <laughs> Ringo's fart Coke <laughs> make us so sick. Get Wasn't pink, that the original name that of one of those songs? <laughs> That's what the White Album was supposed to be called. Ring, Ringo's, that was fart Ringo's Fart Coke? Coke. <laughs> the White Album cover farted? is just an extreme close-up on some of Ringo's Fart Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a line, and he farted, and it became the whole cover. <laughs> yeah, it blew it everywhere. <laughs> Wow, we're getting Beatles off trivia. topic. Oh, why? What is oh, the topic, can I ask, John? Can I ask? I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm intre- I am interested to hear uh, any more toys that are popular this oh, year, yeah, Ho-Ho, Ho-Ho. just because, you know. Yeah, well, you know, so there's guns for sure, and then people have been doing this really fun thing that they're really enjoying, which is uh, connecting knives together to make really long knives. Like a sword? Mmm, different. <laughs> 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 like dinner knives, but really long, so you can run at your dad. <laughs> How are they connecting them? With glue and gum. <laughs> that's what I thought. Is it the gum first, and that's not enough, so they put on the glue? Or? You got it right. Uh, <laughs> why not just like for me. get rid of the gum at this point and just do glue? Well, you know, people like the original design. Yeah, I guess you so. can't argue with it. Do people really work for you, Ho Ho? I always uh, thought you were a uh, rogue operation. No, I, I work for myself, but I'm saying if you if you got these great ideas, you can come work for me. I mean, you need. You don't have any current employees. Mm, just me. <laughs> because you are Santa's employee, essentially. Yeah, and I'm magical. I can do everything. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I mean, en- uh, enough isn't 
talked about in, in regards to Enough that. Enough isn't like, talked about in regards to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're so magical, why do you need to make the the toys all year? We need to year? talk about enough. Let's put it on the table. Are you I talking mean, about the J-Lo movie Enough? Where she learns Krav Maga? Yes. No spoilers. It's one of my... <laughs> Halfway through. <laughs> well, unpause it and just finish watching it. All right, I'll, I'll take a look. <laughs> it's on your phone Ow. right now? Ah. <laughs> I don't need the sound. I That's it. where I got the reference from. You said Enough. I thought you had seen uh, Lennon's little iPad Oh, I would assume, yeah. I thought he was watching The Boy Next Door. <laughs> oh, no, no. You just saw J-Lo, and yeah. you know her movies. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, ho ho. <laughs> Do you make the Xboxes and the PS4s and shit? Um, no, because those are bullshit games for good boys and girls. Oh, you only make. I no- only make weapons and shit. <laughs> shit that hurts. A lot yeah. of shit you don't like. Like duty on fire in a bag. Oh. Ooh. Do, as, as a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Do kids, kids ask for that? They don't ask, but they get it. <laughs> So some kids get a gun without asking for it just for being bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. That seems like rewarding that, negative that, behavior. Yeah, that's that's a, I agree. That doesn't seem like a good plan. It's the path they're on. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like they're, they're reinforcing. The plan. All right. Well, uh, we, we definitely <sighs> need to get to our first guest, and I mentioned what? him earlier. <laughs> A weather panel. I see. I meant yes, of course. I see. So just to be clear, we're that all means Kevin. We're all going to be part of all the rest of the guests. <laughs> sure. Great. We're all the Kevin Eubanks of this bullshit. Boom. <laughs> and now you've got it. Boom. I mentioned him earlier. I can do what, what you, you do, Brett. I have the bass, Mr. Heavenly. I am open to being uh, drums on Conan. Wein- Weinberg. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I mistook the old lady's voice for his. That uh, really went unnoticed, but I, <laughs> that conversation was happening. Over because here. he's because he's so small, he has a voice uh, uh, very akin to an old lady's. Uh, he is the mayor of. Where are you a mayor of again? Uh, I'm the mayor of inside the wall. That old okay, lady's that here. Is that I'm old not, lady. Look, that is that old lady. I'm not an old lady. My voice isn't quavery at all. <laughs> okay, fair I'm enough. I'm just little. Got right. It. Please welcome back to the show, Mayor Junius Bobbledoonery. Hello, Mayor. Just Hello. my size. Oh. Hmm. Who is this creature? Ho-ho. This is Ho-Ho the Naughty Elf. Ho-Ho. So just for, just for the listener at home, can you guys describe the size disparity between the two of you? I'm the size of a dollar bill. And I'm slightly smaller than that. <laughs> Wonderful. A foreign Thank you. dollar. <laughs> like a euro? Like a... <laughs> is that a coin? <laughs> Sorry. She got you there. Jeez. <laughs> zing. <laughs> zing. I know he's a pert. Jeez, Ho-Ho. Uh, Ho-Ho. You, you, Ho-Ho, you seem you seemed very intrigued when you saw someone that's uh, just a little bit smaller than you. Just my size. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, there are certain similarities between this race of creature and my own. Mr. Mayor, just as a heads up, you're standing ankle deep in what I think is ho-ho cum. So uh-huh. just as a heads up. It's yeah. snow. It's snow? <laughs> yeah, but I, it did come from the tip of his peeps. <laughs> that candy cane? <laughs> I guess it's still out. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, it sounds like he's you, fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't but seem to bother him. It's snow and a candy cane. I mean, what, what's the big deal? This is great. Uh, you put it that you way. should get tested. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from inside the wall. <laughs> Why is that so horrible to you? It's creepy. Well, you're from this weird old house up in the North Pole. That's um, yeah, creepy uh, to some. People love the North Pole. They talk about it for their whole life. Their whole life? Yeah. I mean, at best, maybe like a week at the end of the year. You're okay. talking about it now. <laughs> well, it's a week at the end of the year. He's got, oh. <laughs> Do people live inside uh, the walls along with you or just you? Yes, though I'm part of a race of people that live inside the walls. Of which we, he's the mayor. I am the Whoa. mayor of them. And and how many uh, people do you govern? Oh, untold millions. <laughs> untold millions? Yes. So this Holy is cow. all walls all over the world. All walls all over oh, the really? world. Oh, really? Lots of space. No, no gerrymandering with all these walls? How dare you? <laughs> well, and can I ask you as a mayor, Yes. do you oversee a small number of those millions? Is Or is mayor the highest uh, level of political office That's in the question. wall people? Yeah, how high does this go up? <laughs> As far as the presidency? Follow the money, Scott. Follow is the money, a- which, as I have established before, is cookies. Our currency is cookies. <laughs> right, by the way. Oh, now, do you mean cocaine? 
Because these guys over here say if you say cookies, it could mean cocaine. That's true. Cookies is slang for cocaine where I come from. Oh, wait. But <laughs> it also means money, which it also means actual cookies. Oh, okay. Actual I, I, cookies. Here, here are some holiday currency. cookies, by the way. Here's some holiday cookies. Oh, thank you. you. Oh, I'm rich. They're in a plastic bag, so oh. just be careful. Oh, we just unwrapped it. Oh, oh, God. God. Do you need the money or do you just spend it? And do you think cookies are good in your land or that is it not edible because it's money? It gets confusing because we're... Spending cookies to buy cookies to eat. <laughs> right. So are there, are there eating cookies and spending cookies? It's all the same, but you have to be specific how when many, you're exchanging them. How many cookies this, can I'm giving you this? How many so cookies does that. one cookie buy you? It's, it's a one to one. <laughs> are there any? <laughs> is there any system. other food besides no, no, cookies? It's not. It's not a trading system. <laughs> Well, there is other food, but there food is. that we get from humans when they're asleep. Okay, but that's okay. So, so there are you're not you're not forced solely to subsiding eat, on yes. Cookies. So no, you're forced I mean to you, eat your income. You shouldn't. You shouldn't just eat cookies. Yeah. I mean, you should eat other stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, are there good cookies and bad cookies? Like, are there some cookies that people go, "Oh God, not butter cookies." Yeah, it's fucking oh, cookies. What do you? Right. What do you mean? Of course, there are good but, and bad so, cookies. Would you trade a bad cookie I'm and sorry. get a good? cookie? Do you think we're not discerning at all? <laughs> Just any cookie is great. Everything about you is different, so well, I want to know what these differences everything. are, Mr. Mayor. I do just want to say that Scott speaks only for himself. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that I consider you and your population to have probably even the most discerning taste. All right. So, what would you consider being a discerning little person uh, to be a poor tasting cookie? Um, Bitzels, any of those Italian cookies that all taste right. like licorice. Right. Okay. So, but don't like them. If you get you one of dip those, them in espresso. That's the trick. Though. <laughs> if if you, well, it's turning into work. I just want to eat a cookie. No, that's Fair just enough. Gina or just learned that cookie. on a Perillo tours. To Italy. I was on Perillo tours. <laughs> What's that? Did someone say Perillo? <laughs> hey, oh! no! So if you acquire one of these cookies, one of these poor tasting yes, cookies. Yes, if I bought a cookie. Are you allowed to sp to spend it and buy a good tasting cookie? Yes, there's some weirdo who wants that cookie. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If I am unfortunate enough to have bought a poor tasting cookie, well, that's an eating cookie. That's and I'm just stuck with it. <laughs> because that was the arrangement that was decided upon. And how long does it take you to eat one poor tasting cookie? Not, it's not fast. <laughs> right. You Can can't I just switch that into a spending cookie? <laughs> Can I? What the whole system would break down. Oh my God, he's getting Can red in the face. How I have a dare question. You? <laughs> if you've got a cookie in your bag, you know, like a, 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 a good in my cookie bag, a good spending cookie, which by yeah. the way is as big as you. That's right. So now, let's say you take a nasty tumble and you open up your bag and your cookie. Yeah, heaven in, forbid. Is in is in crumbles. It's all crumbs you now. Because sometimes tumble, cookies your crumb. all in crumbs. Lennon's yeah. writing Thanks. a song. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, what Get him the guitar, a Mr. Heavenly. <laughs> Give him the guitar. Yeah, send me that bass. Can't, I want to try that thing out. Can't touch my bass. Around. Oh, wait a minute. He's putting it on and, oh, Nick just. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Give the, it at the Paul Gotti School of Bass. Um, Does good. that crumbled cookie retain its value as crumbs or no? It's changed now. It is. It's like pocket change? Yeah. And like one of our human dollars, if it shatters, it's just a month change. <laughs> Is sorry. <laughs> Continue with your story. <laughs> Is each crumb equal? Uh, so, like, if it breaks into five crumbs? I'd like crumbs, to pursue what John was talking about. Just you know when you have a dollar bill? <laughs> sure. And it's out in the cold. <laughs> Appropriate, because it's a ho holiday special. And you drop it on the ground, it shatters and <laughs> change. <laughs> Maybe that's never happened to anyone here. I guess I've never tried it. A frozen dollar bill? Yeah, it just, it uh, just shatters into just dimes. Just shatters into dimes. <laughs> And you'd shake those, they shed into what's, pennies. What's the temperature at which paper freezes? <laughs> I think. And I, and look, and I'm no... <laughs> Mayor, can you tell us about your outfit? Because it's so weird. What? I don't see how it's so weird. I'm merely wearing my cutaway coat with mayoral sash, my striped trousers, and my top hat. <laughs> Right, oh, no, okay. no, no shirt. Sense. <laughs> no, no shirt, shirt. None, just none, none taken. No shoes. <laughs> no service. <laughs> you stand in barefoot in what is definitely elf cum, my friend. Seriously. He doesn't yeah. have a problem Please with these clothes. Please get it. He loves it. It feels like it. snow. I don't know what to tell you. You are, your, your feet are blistering actively. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Do you like blistery feet? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I like anything nasty. <laughs> yeah. Blech. I believe you had a question about the crubs. Well, well, sure. Are they are are they equally divisible? Are they are they worth uh, one crumb a piece? Or? No, the crumbs. You have to count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie. Okay. To determine 
what the worth of each crub is. That's okay, so theater if there's warm up. Count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie, determine what the worth is. Count the crumbs from a crumbled cookie, determine what the worth is. I'm Why are you on. warming up your voice? Because I'm going on stage. <laughs> where, 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 what's the play? play? What's the play? Really? What's the play? My life in pieces. Where? Is it about a dollar bill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, it's it's always fascinating to have two people of the same size here in uh, Is the it? studio. That's fascinating. <laughs> I mean, how often does it happen? Well, I mean, usually it I'm like lining time. up every guest back to back just to see. And usually people are like, one's 5'10", one's 5'11". You know, but, you but hardly we're not ever... the same. He's smaller than I'm me. I'm smaller than he. Well, Slightly, <laughs> but... Okay, I, so, but no, but just as your size, it's all the same. No, see, that's Stop. not wow. true. Stop lining us up back to back. Scott is like a requiem for a dream. You want to be front to front? Line us up front to front. Front, front butt to front, to front, front butt. To front. No, front to back. I'm just happy oh, yeah. that in the, event back. Of, in the event of a fire drill, I'm the first out the door. Why is that? I'm the smallest. Okay. It should go smallest to tallest. Yeah, but I, it's going to take you such a long time. You have such a short stride. I would I'm think very that the, spry. I'll be honest. Really, how fast can you run? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Oh, I love it. I didn't even have time I'm to get a stopwatch out. <laughs> wow, that is incredibly okay, quick. Okay, I'll come back. See? Oh, my God. How, that was like eight, 70, 80 miles an hour. Something like that. That's above what Sammy Hagar would do. <laughs> what do you mean? Because he can't He's like, drive He tops 55? out at 60 or so. <laughs> oh, I thought 55. it was that. I thought I can't drive 55 means he never got up to 55. <laughs> I thought he was always at 54 or 56. He just couldn't get it yeah, right. He, Cruise control style. He just wants to get it. <laughs> At 55. Hey, I think it was this, the original draft was like, I can't drive 55. I heard it turns out he had a marble under the accelerator, <laughs> so it wouldn't go all the way down. Really? Yeah. Who put it there, a little person? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so what are, what are your traditions during the holidays? Well, during the holidays, of course, we like to move out of the walls and into gingerbread houses. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that why we make them? I, I guess I never realized why. Yes, we... it's an ancient pact between humans and our people. Really? Yes. I, yeah. I've always done it for fun. What? Maybe that's what you thought. Well, sure, yeah. I guess I never realized the reason. Do you why know how when it? you're making a gingerbread house? Sure. And your mind goes blank, <laughs> and you're just like a robot that's been taken <laughs> over by another consciousness? Oh, gosh. I and guess. then when you're done, there's uh -huh. a gingerbread house there? Sure. Yep. Okay. Commonly known as the gingerbread fugue state. <laughs> that's right. That's because of us. <laughs> You're welcome, Ed. We thank you. And why do you like to do this? I mean, it seems like uh, if you had to be displaced, it would be unpleasant. Well, it's not that. We're not going that far. It's just from the walls to the gingerbread house. Sure, what? but I mean, in accordance to your size, that's like, you know, me moving two blocks away. It would still be an inconvenience. Okay. You're you're getting really hung up on scale. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can move fast. Is yeah. gingerbread considered a cookie? Is it like opulent for you guys to be living in? Uh, yeah, it's like living in a mansion. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. It's because like living in a house made of solid of dollar gold. bills. Yes, yeah. exactly. You got a gold mm. toilet. <laughs> Or, or do you have a gingerbread toilet? toilet? We have a cupcake Sprinkle. toilet. <laughs> Wait, are cupcakes hey, currency as well? There's no, no hole in a cupcake. <laughs> no, they're not. They're just very comfortable. But you sit on a soft toilet. Yeah, why not? Because then the, By the poop way, that just goes great. in your butt. <laughs> What? <laughs> What'd you say? No, there's, there's but the poop just ho ho there's, goes in your butt. There's a hole. There's, it's okay. not, there is a hole. Yes. Okay. I just we have a cupcake. hole in the middle. The seat is a cupcake. <laughs> got it. Exactly. Got it. I've never been there. Can I ask you, you a question? Come sometime. How kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd see a different way of life that you could enjoy. Mm, well, what's wrong with my life? Well, Prostitutes in motels all night long, baby. <laughs> laying on a cockroach, rolling across too? the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Few of us do, I think. <laughs> What was your question, Jason? Santa oh. baby. <laughs> when you live inside the walls, are you living in houses in the walls or no? Are no, they, it's is that not why houses. You're... It's like little platforms and platforms. stuff. So it's why not, not very convenient. Why not actually. have like uh, why not have us make permanent housing for you? Jason, can I stop you right there? Please do. The last time I was here. This was covered. Uh, this was my well, this is my parting words to everyone. Please, humans, consider putting Working plumbing in dollhouses. <laughs> it would make things so much easier for everybody. Uh -huh. 
I mean, just a dollhouse. Keep it all the same. Yep. But put a working shower, sink, toilet in there. Oh yeah, I've been fooled a few times by those. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing going? What do you mean? Dollhouse? Dollhouse? Yeah, it's just an emergency. You know, my, my stepdad's in the can, and I gotta. I look around, and all that's left. You, know, <laughs> you ever been at a home? You ever been at a Home Depot, and you know, you're just like, oh, thank God, I got a shit so bad. <laughs> then you realize you're on a display toilet in the middle of an aisle. No. Me neither. <laughs> You ever walk down that door aisle and you keep opening the doors because you think there's a hundred rooms? I'm screaming, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? You I ever- use the uh, Home Depot door section as my mind palace to help me remember things. Oh, you ever Sherlock go over your style? friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? What, well, what do you mean? Like the macaroni soggy? The peas are mushy. What's the chicken taste like? Wood. <laughs> This is ringing a bell to me for some reason. I can't recall why. It's the season. <laughs> oh, that's right. Rings a jingle bell. Um, How do you feel, sir, if I may ask, about please. the borrowers? I, now, let me say. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, oh boy. man. We talked about this last time. Yeah, we oh, did. Boy. Okay. Oh. I figured it might have come up. Yeah, I know this what? is a sore spot. Here's what I don't like. Borrowers if I brought up it's okay. It's okay. I get this a lot. Here's what I don't like the borrowers. <laughs> the littles. Yep. Uh, Stuart Little? Hate him. Really? <laughs> Isn't that a mouse? Yes. It's gross. But it's he's, he's regular vermin. mouse size. He's vermin. Wait, but there's there must be plenty of bugs and vermin where you guys live, right? Yeah, we don't like them. Do it's you? It's the same size as you. It's like you seeing a bear, Scott. I love bears. <laughs> What about the Indian in the We're cupboard? We're not talking about big oh, search terms again. Not Sorry. a fan. We're not, talking not, about a not a fan. Right. John Lennon hung his candy cane on his microphone. <laughs> I was going to eat it later. <laughs> so you put it on your microphone to remind you? I, I started eating it. Oh, <laughs> and then I, you know, I can't eat the whole thing. Yeah, and you don't want to put it upon the table because, right, because germs may stick to it. Oh, there's ink everywhere. Right, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask a question of the mayor to the mayor. Please feel mayor. free to ask it to and of me. What, what is the name of your people again? Did we ever find that out? Um, <sighs> no, you know, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't mentioned that. Uh, I don't think it's important. Wait, the name, what was it? The name of your people? Yeah, I don't right. think that's important. Nobody needs to know that. No, you know, we're humans. Are you human? Yeah. We're, or we're, just small human? Soul eater. Soul eater? Soul eater? Did you say soul, soul eater? eater? Y- yes. Wait a minute. Soul eater. Soul eater. We're called soul eaters. Are you soul eaters? Do you yes. Eat, do you eat? I think that's a the skateboard. Soul? Do, do you remember company. how I said we eat cookies? We love cookies. Oh, well, the soul no, eaters. Yes, but you, you also said you don't eat those exclusively. Are you eating souls? human beings' we're not, souls? Okay, look, we're not eating like the, all of the soul. It's just enough. We're little. We're little. It's just enough to get by. Kill him! No, wait, 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 get him! Wait, wait, hold on. Get him! Lock, lock, lock him up! Lock, lock, lock him up! Hold him down! I'm over here! Let him oh, grab oh, candy He's too fast! <laughs> he's too fast! If I gotta get out of here, I need this candy cane with me. <laughs> Everybody settle down! Just settle down! You're you're out there. This is the holiday season, Mayor Junius Bobble Doonery. Thank you for using my proper title. Yeah. Wait, Listen. Wh- wh- yes. We don't eat the souls of good people. We eat the souls of evil people. Well, wait a minute. This sounds, well, uh, hold on. This sounds a lot like uh, this Santa asshole. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that you work for. What do you do with the souls? You eat them and then what? Well, then we're full and then we just wait till we're hungry again and then we eat some more of the souls. So we well, don't eat it all at once. But why do you eat bad souls? Don't they make you bad? No. Actually, it's... Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're doing a service having to people. Less of a, does having less of a soul make a bad person worse? I mean, I would think that you are contributing to how bad people per- potentially become. You might, you might very well think that. Who's you the most very famous well soul you've ever eaten? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Like as a politician, do you eat other politicians' souls? Oh, boy, you- do I ever. Is oh it like boy. pop culture souls? <laughs> what? Pe- people who are famous in pop culture? Or just politicians? It, not exclusively. Or? Is right. it like bouncing souls? <laughs> so what about Have the band no Bouncing Souls? Soul? Oh, no, I about that, Soul yeah. to Soul? No, we don't eat Bouncing Souls. What about we don't the eat Cast soul of Soul, soul. Plane? No, we don't eat the Cast of Soul Capital plane. of Korea? <laughs> no, we don't eat the Capital of Korea. Okay. Is there some kind of, I have We're a question. We're almost out. Uh, uh, soul, soul Train? Soul Train, no. 
Anyone else? Bottom of shoe. Do you um, know nope. is, there a place, is there a place where that you like an asylum where oh. maybe the soul? Oh my god, it's Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot Mr. Hadley. Everybody, Mr. Hadley. Everybody at the table just I got, got so questions. confused. It's hard. Right. it's hard with the headphones because somebody <laughs> starts talking and you don't know. Who it is. Nick, Nick, what, what's corner? your question? All the yes. sound is coming from the same place in the headphones. That's you in the corner. Yes, yes Nick. That's me in the corner. This is me. Now I guess I'm oh, in the spot. Now you're in the spot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just wondered if there was some kind of an asylum where you put the souls. Yeah, soul asylum, no. Okay. <laughs> Thank Let's you. Soul like I didn't like mean to have that much emphasis. Worth it. Worth yeah. it. <laughs> soul like the sun? No. I saw a soul S-O-L. asylum at Jones Beach Theater. They, uh, Matthew Sweet opened for them. Oh, yeah. yeah it great. It was fucking sick. I was dude. eight. I'd cool. reverse that order. And we found all the kids from the music video. Oh, wow. Me yeah. yeah. and yeah. a group yeah. of my friends, we started a little vigilante. Another one? What? Go over here. Do you eat each other? What? What's that? Do you eat each other? Do you? Do, but do you? What a yes. question. No, we do not eat each other. So you Wait, eat do you ass? have souls? We so all have good souls. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. No, that's a good question. It, I mean, it's a good question. I don't know if this is a great place to answer it. I am a politician. I got my career to think Is there a Mrs. Junius Bobble Doonery? We're getting off the soul eating super quick. You guys missed uh, soul coughing, by the way. <laughs> so, I, I <laughs> thought of it, but felt like soul asylum was the better version of it, sure. so abandoned it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I wish I thought of soul asylum when I said bouncing soul. What about soul cycle? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who goes there is bad. <laughs> That's true. Do they know they can ride bikes outside? No. And like two and from places? That's the only group that doesn't know that. <laughs> Not in Christ. California with this weather. Jesus Christ, it's beautiful year round. You don't want to be fucking out there on a bike sweating your little nuts off. Not what if people run on tread? Bills, While right? the city burns. Yeah, why do people swim in circles inside a tiny hot tub? Why don't they go to the ocean? <laughs> Just swim east. Why, why are or there west? pools? <laughs> Mayor, we haven't forgotten the matter at hand. <laughs> Which is what? You're I'll so allow funny. it, Ho-Ho. Oh, take it a hard oh, line. Oh. Look, 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 look. Where did Ho-Ho get that smart business suit? Oh, oh. You- <laughs> I made it out of a tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quite an eighties cut. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm floating inside. Mayor. Yeah. Yes. Why do you eat souls? Why do you eat food? It's a simple to survive, question, Mr. Mayor. Well, exactly. There you go. But you eat food and you eat cookies well, as yeah, well as souls. We, yes. Of so course. you would survive we, without them? I don't know. We haven't tried. What about a dad's O'Brien? <laughs> I have a question for the mayor. Do you eat? Do you eat like okra or beans or any kind of southern food? Um, sure. Um, I believe he's soul food. About, yeah, yes. I got it. But but we <laughs> but we do. Yeah, I, not okra. But do you call soul food? Do you call soul food? Do you call soul soul food? We call it what it is. Stop badgering the witness. I just want to say, okra. You're never going to get me to like it. I've tried it every which way. It's gross. It's slimy. Well, it's it, slimy. Did Thank you say you. okja? Okja! We have eaten Okja. <laughs> His soul. <laughs> well, he's not evil. Okja's not evil. All oh, right. Um, well, but why, I mean, uh, it, this sounds like terrible things are happening to evil people out there in the world. I mean, oh, the kids. Oh, boo <laughs> Oh, no. What don't, a terrible. Don't love me that's in with horrible. him just because we're the same size. What do you consider bad, by the way? I mean, who's the ultimate judge of who's bad and who's not bad? Who's bad? Well, Who's bad? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear the whole thing. Oh. Because I'm unbelievable. <laughs> oh! Let's get ready to crumble. Oh! Let's get ready to crumble. Yeah, you don't remember that commercial? Like a cookie? Like a dollar? It was for uh, for crumbelievables. <laughs> We're crumbelievable, yum, dum dum dum. It was great. It was a great. It was a rare, a rare two pronged parody, <laughs> <laughs> making fun of <laughs> using "Let's Get Ready to Rumble" and the song "Unbelievable." Amazing. Hardly ever happens. So who who determines who's bad? Is it you? <laughs> Well, I mean, the whole world has to answer right now. <laughs> Tell him once again, who's bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> usually you can tell if someone's evil. Like, by their actions? Tone? Or their... By their actions? No, Is please. this kind of like uh, pornography? Uh, I'll know it when I see it? It's much like that, Jason. Exactly. Thank you. Like, if I saw someone... The mayor's making a porn uh, metaphor. <laughs> Thank it's you, much ho, like ho. porn. I, now hold yes, on. Ho, ho. I'm it's just, much like porn. I'm just agreeing to a porn metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference. Mm. Uh, I think it's technically a simile. Simile, I know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
Jesus, <gasps> my eyes. What well, just came out of your little peppermint cane? <laughs> that, was, that was mace. <laughs> oh my. You can Wait, shoot you mace. You can jizz mace? You, got, you yes, got a mace dick? To protect myself. Oh, shit, don't tell me anyone else out there could jizz mace. That's bad news for all Uncle women Gino. can. <laughs> Uncle Gino? So when you look yeah. at a person, Mayor Junior. Yes. Is like it Mayor just by, Dude, right? by sight that you are, are determining if someone's bad? Well, I, I tell you what. If, if by <laughs> if by sight I see someone kill another person, okay. How often does I that happen? See, oh, so often. What we oh, see really? from within the walls. Oh, I can oh. only imagine. I mean, uh, most domestic uh, violence happens in the home. Well, it's domestic. It's right yeah. there. It's right there in the title. Just... Let's get into that. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've never to. seen anyone kill someone else, but I've seen a number of people kill themselves. I've seen a lot of people you, kill on what? stage doing stand-up. I yeah. love the stuff. <laughs> really? Who's your favorite? <laughs> Louis C.K. <Louis> <laughs> <laughs> love how he takes out his wee-wee. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> now, you probably don't believe the women, right? <laughs> I believe him. Ho-Ho believes the women. Ho-Ho, I just like what he did. <laughs> I said, I believe them and support him. You could do both. <laughs> I'm, still you really la- found a- I'm still laughing at his comedy. You found a loophole. What a loophole. <laughs> One of the few rare point of view there. Why have you seen so many people kill themselves? Oh, I was like part of uh, a, a, a South American cult for a couple of years. What? We've well, never talked about this. Yeah, I know, because I'm always on for a holiday special. You have some interesting guests that you want to talk to. Sure. So for, you well, know, we I, talked to you at length and you've never brought this up. Well, I just, it's like kind of Well, a, we recall when you were a bait boy for the Oh, yeah. Uh, I did that Catholic for the Catholic Church. Church. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for the FBI against yeah. the Catholic yeah. Church. Yeah, and right. uh, then I kind of went in too deep as usual. Yeah, I was the FBI. Donnie, Donnie Brasco <laughs> style. Shortly after that, the FBI sent me down to South America to infiltrate some sort of cult. <laughs> and when I was down there, um, at, <laughs> you know, we were all fucking the Supreme Leader, you know, just... <laughs> Doing the huge, the thing, you know, where you line up and the Supreme Leader lets you sip his ejaculate out of, like, little yeah. martini glasses. Oh sure. We were doing that. familiar, but <laughs> you say it is, you know, that thing we sure. all know. Sure, that yeah. thing we all I'll know. I'll go with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's a thing that everyone does. So okay. we were all, you know, <laughs> sipping on the Supreme Leader's comment. Sipping on jizz and juice. <laughs> Lay back. Lay back. <laughs> Mind on my cookie. Cookie on my mind. <laughs> Oh, the elusive triple callback. Um, <laughs> it's not that elusive, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're calling back things from episodes. Uh, none of us were on. <laughs> so how long were you in this cult for? I was like, uh, yeah, 18 months, 20 months, oh almost two Like years. a baby. He counts years and months. Yeah, well, because uh, they were on a different calendar there. They were on the, oh. uh, yeah, I forget what it's called, the, Sep- the Sephardic calendar. Oh, yeah. Sephardic. <laughs> yeah. And so, but w- whatever, long story short, short uh a few people uh we all had to like drink some fucking uh bug concoction juice. Yeah, yeah some concoction he was whipped up a big batch bug juice I, it doesn't come in a jar that's for one person <laughs> <laughs> i think he's sitting right here <laughs> <laughs> um so he uh so the supreme leader has us all take a sip and we all start dying and then um uh, it turns out it's not strong enough to kill you Oh, it's just enough to get you. Uh, you know, I, I guess it, in hindsight, it was Spanish fly. He gets everyone kind of like <laughs> like in the mood. Up. Yeah, yeah. We it's are like all in the Bill mood, Cosby and then we're about. very susceptible. And then he's like, "Hey, everyone! I just put out a handful of guns. Feel free to grab one, put it in your mouth." And he kind of talks a bunch of people into killing themselves. So I watched, I don't know, seventy to eighty uh, people kill themselves well, in one. So episode. it's almost like truth serum, where just someone is highly susceptible. Yeah, you to... just it gets you going. Yeah, okay. it was a concoction. It's like Spanish fly, sodium pentothal, black house. Right. Um, a sh- splash of Jaeger, uh, ice little cubes. anise. Yeah, a little anise. You know, you got to have the anise for the licorice flavor. No offense, Maya. Not sure. taken. <laughs> it's called anus. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was. All right. Well, we don't have to get into too yeah, much. But that was the way yeah. we had to sack and crack it. Was like and the so, best way to drink it. So what? There's no part of it that for you is that you were there to stop it. You were just there as an observer from the FBI. Oh, now you sound like my commanding officer. <laughs> Wait, did you work for the FBI? When I got back to Quantico, they were like, <laughs> you know we sent you there to stop it, right? And that's yeah. when I was like, I wish you would have said something 18 to 20 months they ago. They probably, though, those were your marching orders. Yeah. yeah, well, I was not paying attention on the flight down there because I was like a little nauseous because I had General Sows. And they before. were making you march. And they were making me march. Yeah. On the plane? Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. They were just like, keep going back and forth across this plane. I'm right. like, what, what the, who the fuck do you think I am? <laughs> All right. But I just did it. Well, Gino, I feel like we got off uh, and, and haven't been talking about the soul eating of Mayor <laughs> Junius. Oh, well, but, right. I don't know. His story, there's probably more to it. <laughs> no, that's plenty. We can dig deep on soul eating. Uh, <laughs> but look, uh, we need to take a break in a second. But w- Good. But I, I really hope that you, have you been doing it to us at all? I mean, what, what's the process? Well, are you evil? 
I, I I mean, every person is semi evil, as far as I'm. Is that true? Oh, I don't what think so. Perspective. Oh, wow. I don't think that's true at we all. We all have shades of good and evil. We're all neutral. Oh, we're all neutral that way. Everybody's neutral evil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> have you ever eaten any of our souls here at the table? <laughs> I mean, not at the table. The people at the table. I'm not asking where you. Did you eat them. it for the TV? Say, <laughs> you don't do a whole sit down. Thing. I won't do that. I will always, always make the time to sit down and, and eat no, a screens, meal. Right? no screens. No yeah. screens. We have a no screens policy in the walls. <laughs> in the walls, really? Yeah, that's right. That's where you spend all it's, your time. It's walls wide. The policy. <laughs> wow. What do you do the entire time? We eat souls. People. people. <laughs> We eat cookies sometimes too. <laughs> okay, look, you have to stop doing this. If you've eaten even, Ooh, more, who are you? I have a to question. Say, how dare? Can you? I ask you a question? Yeah, I know sure. we're headed right into sure, a break, certainly. so I'm sorry to bring this up. Is it about soul eating? It is not. Oh, great. Go ahead. What kind of relationship do you have with the Keebler elves? <laughs> they are small elves who live in trees and hey. make cookies. Jason's mind is from 20 <laughs> minutes ago. They are. <laughs> It's a good Counterf- question. They're counterfeiters. <laughs> <laughs> Those cookies they make are not legal tender. Really? So, so it's yes. like an Ocean's Eleven type heist, like where they're count- counterfeiting money. <laughs> No, it's not a heist. They're just printing bogus money. Try sure. this on the size. That's, that's, that's Bitcoin. The, <laughs> the Does that analogy make any sense? It's, the cri- it's Bitcoin because you bite it. Yes, Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fake money. Where's that break coming? Okay, it's, it's coming. <laughs> I say, let's hold off. <laughs> no, it's going to come let's right now. Off. We need to go to a break. When we come back, we'll have more from Jason Manzoukas, of course, more from Ho Ho, more from Intern Gino, more from John Lennon, and more drums. from Mayor Junius Bobble Doonery. Mayor and, Junius uh, Bobble Doonery. Uh, you know what? Before we go to a break, though, why don't we hear a song from Mr. Heavenly? How's that sound? Uh, well, you guys ready to play something? What do you think? Yeah. All right, Brad, yeah, I'll right, take the yes. board. You get over there. I'll take the board. Thank you, Jason. Okay, Gino, really? You're going to be doing You'd trust him with those? <laughs> Not really, but what? I mean, All I right. have to hold the bass. All right. Uh, what are you guys going to play? Is this John tape. Lennon? Is this something from your uh, the record, which is Boxing the Moonlight, currently out now? Yeah, yeah. What song? Are you this uh, we're going to do. <laughs> Sorry, R- uh, yeah. Ryan's right? really annoyed right now. <laughs> Wake uh, up, man. Hey, John, you want to you want to sit in? <laughs> I'd love to. Really, we're, yeah, John? Yeah, get over here. All right, on. So this is Not, Mr. Heavenly wow. featuring John Lennon. Yeah, that should be fine with me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let me just get on over there. Okay. Not All with right. my bass, though. What, what song are you going right, to play? Brad, I'm not going to join a band you, to play the bass. I like All that right. you mimed walking over there, but just stayed sitting in your seat. And that little squiggle I did? <laughs> he went, I'll, I'll go right over there. <laughs> and was able to respond into the microphone who, who a second that? later. Who was that for? <laughs> that was for all of you. <laughs> Look, I've got a whole thing going on here at my station. <laughs> All right, Mr. Heavenly, what, what song are you going to play? I think we're going to do Making Excuses, right, Brad? Making Excuses. Yes. This is with an apostrophe uh, at the end of Making, That's right? correct, Scott. Oh, Thank you for now. What, in what key? Uh, we are doing this one in A. A, yep. a, 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 a major? Good choice. A major. I'll yeah, say off the mic, so I'll just play in the back. Thanks. Okay, great. All right, this is Mr. Heavenly uh, with a little bit of holiday cheer. Mr. Heavenly with Making Excuses. How about it, boys? And he refuses making his 
no, 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 no. I can move to the song. I always move it wrong. I should be on. I should be running along. No, I got work in the morning. Think I ate something for poison. I'm hearing voices. I chip my foot. We need to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more from all of us. We'll be right back. Roll break. (laughs) Man, we are so close to the new year. I am really looking forward to it. But, you know, a lot of what happens is uh, people seem to go in hibernation at the end of the year every year. And they just go, eh, I'm not going to do anything. There's There's Christmas. There's so much going on. I'm just, I'm going to put Every dream or ambition I have on hold until 2018. Don't do that. Because you know what January 2 is? That's the day when everything, everyone goes, oh man, I need to do everything that I have been putting off forever. January 2 is the busiest day of the year. If you're ready to start a new business or get your ideas out there, start now. Don't wait until the new year to set your plans in action. The future is coming And I tell you, you can make it brighter with Squarespace. That's right. Squarespace wants to help you get your business out there. They have beautiful templates. These things are created by world-class designers. They have scoured the earth for designers to design templates. And people looked at them funny. They were like, what are you looking for? You're in the middle of nowhere. You're looking for a, for a, a... Uh, The website template designer? Get out of here, you weirdo. Squarespace didn't care. They did not care. That's how strange they are over there. They're a weird company, but they love it. They loved doing it. They scoured the earth to find these things. Squarespace makes it easy to turn your idea into a new and unique website. You can showcase your work. You can put up a blog. Publish content. Sweet tent. You can even sell products and services of all kinds and just... I said it before, I'll say it again. A few clicks of the mouse, my dear boy. Customize everything from look and feel to settings and products. It is all optimized for mobile right out of the box. You can use Squarespace's analytics. They're going to help you grow in real time. And there is nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. They do it all for you. And if you have a question, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, I have a question. Too bad. I guess I'm out of luck. I'll close down my business. No, 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 no. Don't do that. 
Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support is there to help. They've said it often, a dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. Make it a reality with Squarespace. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you are ready to launch, use the offer code BANGBANG. You're going to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com, offer code BANGBANG. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. We have Jason Manzukas. We have Ho Ho. Intern Gino. Baby. John Lennon. Trubs. And of course, Mayor Junius Bubble Doonery. Yeah, I live in your walls. <laughs> is that your catchphrase? <laughs> sure. It's okay, a way to catch great. people up. <laughs> and uh, the band Mr. Heavenly is, of course, here, and we'll be hearing uh, some more songs from them. We just heard a great song, Making Excuses, from their album. Boxing the Moonlight currently out uh, on uh, on at all uh, major retailers. Almost, <laughs> yes, almost. I, have almost a, I have a question. Yes, certainly. <laughs> Does Boxing the Moonlight refer to putting moonlight in a box? Or to challenging the moonlight to a bare knuckle boxing exhibition, like a diorama. You mean uh, putting it into a box? I don't know how. How would you put moonlight into a box? What do you mean? Um, that's part of my question. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, well, you'll find with his other part. Yeah, how would you yeah. box the moon? Uh, Ryan, you want to answer <laughs> this? Yeah, yeah. It, it's a combo. I mean, for me, it was uh, fighting the moon, and then for Nick, it was trying to encapsulate the magic. Well, as the oh. song from Coyote Ugly tells us, you can't fight the moonlight. <laughs> Is that the one she plays up on the roof? Uh, That's right. Okay. Are you a big fan of that film? Love it. Uh, that was are you forced to watch films that people uh, outside of the walls are watching who are normally in their houses, or do you have your own entertainment? We get to watch those films. <laughs> okay, so you must live near someone who's a big coyote ugly enthusiast? It's the only movie this person has ever watched. <laughs> really? Who is this person? Robert Durst. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. I love his black eyes. <laughs> They're soulless. His shark eyes. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That happened. Did you take out Robert Durst's soul? I thought we were going to talk about that. That's this interesting. We never agreed to that. How long have you known or been living in the walls where Robert Durst has lived? Uh, how old is he now? I don't know. 82. I'm gonna, okay. So 82 years. <laughs> oh, wow. So you've just been taking pieces of his soul his entire life until there's nothing left and he goes and murders those people? Now, hold on a second. You're trying to draw... Uh, uh, a, a correlation between my actions and his, and I don't think that's fair. Well, someone with a soul might not have committed those acts. That's right. You would think, but he did, so <laughs> what are you going to do? But could you be tried, or, or, or could you be tried as an accessory to murder? Well, you got to catch me first. <laughs> okay, and that's been very hard to do. But then also, we have our own legal justice system. Oh, interesting. Do we yeah. catch you outside? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Catch me in walls. Oh, How about yeah. <laughs> this? This gentleman has a question. What, what, what does the soul taste like? I'm so curious. <sighs> better than cookies? Does it have a texture? Oh, it's better than cookies. Is it like heroin? It's, I don't know. I haven't eaten heroin. <laughs> cookies know? isn't cocaine or it's just cookies? Cookies. Co Wait, what? <laughs> at one point, yeah, cookies one, was cocaine around here. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know it. it's like, but, but are you asking, is it, does it taste better than cocaine does? Yeah. Uh, I don't eat cocaine either. Look, does guys. it taste better than cocaine feels? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now wow. we're getting somewhere. So it's the ultimate high. It probably tastes it's, better than that. Fart well, it sounds cocaine. like it's like an ambrosia of sorts. Yes, it's very the fruit of the here's, gods. Here's what it is: when you eat a soul, it's very satisfying. Ew. Well, right. Why is that uh, the way the way that uh, you're, you're, you're yeah. your well, mouth? Because I said it's satisfying. Mouth, you have sharp the way you eat your sharp teeth. Your teeth are like like very sharp. They yeah. just look they just look that way no, because they say, are like yeah. When open you up say those it's choppers. Very satisfying. Yeah, uh, oh, oh my god! But, but it's like soft. a shark. It's like they're a shark's sharp mouth. But soft. They're sharp but soft, like a trick knife that you do on Halloween <laughs> for fun. They're I'm retractable not such a bad teeth. Guy. You're a monster. You're literally a monster. You're a, you're a soul eating monster. Monster. Sir, I've been called many things in, on debate floors, in the houses of justice, in the halls of government, but never, sir, has anyone called me a monster. And perhaps, sir, you should address the mirror and see the true monster within. Oh, my God, he got me. <laughs> Is that how you've been elected so many times? I feel put I, in my place. I have a gifted orator. Oh. That was That was riveting. amazing. That also, was... I've, I've run unopposed. <laughs> really? <laughs> For decades. Oh, my god. Is gosh. it because the seat of the mayor is in Durst's walls? <laughs> Also, what is the life expectancy of your people? 
people? Unknown. <laughs> because you've already been alive for 82 yeah. years. I mean, when we when At we least. get there, we'll let you know. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, speaking of uh, getting there and letting you know, uh, we need to get to our next <laughs> guest. And I'm going to let you know about that. Uh, he's been on the show before, and it's wonderful to have him back. Let's first welcome MC Sugarbutt. How are you? I get on up and I get on down. <laughs> Sugar butt. Is in your Christmas town. Oh, very good, MC right. Sugar Buds. It's snowing. Uh, it's snowing. It's snowing, snowing, and snowing. Uh, Scott and D. How you be? Uh, I'm good. It's actually not snow. It's ho ho cum. So. Hey. Ho ho so cum. good. Ho ho cum ho, like ho, ho. Coke and rum. Uh, Ooh, that's a good song. I also want to welcome, uh, I don't believe he's ever been on the show before, but no, he is. No, big fan. Long time, first time. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's currently uh, has big a show. Big fan. Miss MSNBC. Miss MSNBC. Miss MSNBC. Miss MSNBC. Currently on MSNBC, uh, the host of Hardball. Please welcome Chris Matthews. Chris Matthews. Scott Kerman, it's great to be here. What are your thoughts <laughs> on politics? Uh, it's, it's very political. What a political okay. year it's been. <laughs> See, you dodged a question there. Where do you think, put it back, Paul, has you have 12 points. Do you think I said I represent a Paul? Quinnipiac? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're Have saying. Have you ever suffered a Quinnipiac? Have I ever suffered a Quinnipiac? Yes, yeah, that's valid. The answer that one. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've ever suffered from one. No, uh, you'd know it if you had. Yeah. <laughs> Quinnipiac is a certain kind of stroke that broadcasters get at twelve from a day. Oh, is that what they're talking about when they talk about the Quinnipiac poll? Quinnipiac yeah, poll. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so good to see you. Uh, so it's great to be here. You know, when you come, when you think of podcasting, your legendary Tip O'Neill once said, "We got to take a break." <laughs> great, great, and MC. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt, uh, you are a musician, and John Lennon here is a musician. Yeah. Oh, John Lennon. Yeah, John the, Lennon. What, what, he was uh, a part of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's, that's curious. See, that's why I bring it up, because not everyone knows what band I was part of. I was part of a European rock band. The doors were in America. Who? <laughs> You brought him up first. Uh, behind you there is a, another American band, Mr. Heavenly. Mr. Heavenly, not in hell. People in jail, go to sleep. <laughs> oh, boy. It, his, his rhymes aren't wrong. That's uh, the best way to pass the time when you're in jail. Just yeah. sleep. MC Sugar Butter, are you known for your freestyles? You know, I'm known all across the world to all the pretty girls about all the raps that you ever did see. <laughs> I, I like that line because it didn't rhyme. I know. I love it. You, you have a lot of trouble it. sticking the landing. <laughs> you know what, though? Keep going. I think you're going to get there. Ooh, uh. Is that Jason Mann over there? <laughs> Jason Mann shouts out. <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying hello. That just, that just ended. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Ipsy, sh Ipsy Sugar Bun, if you're, oh, done with the, if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> if you're done with the primary, will you run third party? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real indent. I'm going to run for independent. <laughs> oh, very good. It's real indent? <laughs> yeah. You, you got the ride with independent. I know you're not supposed to ride the same word twice, but apparently you can just take letters out. That's valid. <laughs> no, indent. Space in front of a paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> That's real tall. Is that a giraffe? Do you go, do you go, <laughs> hey, he's getting better. Do you go double space? Oh God, do, that do, giraffe you, in here. do you double space your documents? <laughs> Always double space. <laughs> Makes the pages longer. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chris Matthews, a lot going on oh. this year. That's safe to say, right? This is a fantastic year. It's a wonderful year for politics. You got Vladimir Putin entering the thing? <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> Vladimir Putin polling number number one in New Hampshire primary across five polls. That's true. The I outlier mean, is Zogby. Where do we cut down Zogby? Mayor Julius. That's true. Yeah. I guess you, right. you register the Zogby poll, point four. Yes, well, that's those polls. Look, it's early days, and I don't think this is the time to be paying attention to polls. Certainly not the Zogby poll. What? Okay, it sounds like a guy who's running for office or trying to dodge some kind of scandal. He, well, he is trying to dodge a scandal. He's he's admitted to eating souls. Of evil people. Uh, well, maybe he could take over for Joe Scarborough when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's his band doing? <laughs> I think it's funny. You know what? I actually, I, I go sometimes. I get a nice ale. I drink about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see me on MSNBC where it's just me broadcasting in front of like a town hall, people walking around voting and stuff? That's all fake. There's cops all over the place. Make sure he gets in front of me. Cool. <laughs> well, good great. way of reviewing that band. 
the I first one John, John Lennon. John Lennon. Oh, yeah. you, you, shot, you shot me a hat. Did you ever? Did you ever? Did you ever uh, complain to Mayor John Lindsay of New York City? Uh, crime, crime and punishment. Time, uh, I said this type down, of stuff can't crime. happen. It can't happen to a guy like me. If it happens to me, it could happen to anyone. <laughs> Are you the walrus? Look, I don't need to talk about it. I don't think we need to answer that right here, right now. I'll talk to you about that off the air. It's okay, very John, the, the, the dodging your question there it must hurt because shot in the back like that. Would you pretty shot in the front? Would that have been better? I, <laughs> you know, I, th- I think I would have. I would like to have seen it coming. But there there would be a danger of you getting shot in the nuts, though, if you, it was from that's the front. That's true. That is very true. You get shot in the nuts from behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I guess if they're swinging. If you got, if you got a nice Do you wear tiny whiteies? I was, at the time when I got shot, thank God I wasn't shot in the nuts, I was walking around the streets with my pants down. <laughs> you were? Right. They don't talk about that. They tell don't talk John about Lennon, that. And tell me slow, do your nuts hang down real low? <laughs> <laughs> tell them really yes, slow. Tell them slow. I'll tell you slow. <laughs> okay. Let's really take our time with this. Okay. In the winter time, uh-huh. when I'm <laughs> pantsless in New York City, uh, get on deck. they drag on the cold concrete. Burn up, burn. In the, burn. In the winter. Keeping an eye on my nuts, dragging by my window. <laughs> that was a classic Beatles number right there. Was it B-side, C-side, or D-side? That was a D. <laughs> Wow, my gosh. I have to go. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, ho ho. It's always Hello, nice to see bye. you. Bye, Merry Christmas. Fuck you. Whoa. Oh, Strong wow. words from Head, Ho Ho. Headphones. All right, so uh, you, you didn't get a chance to interrogate Ho Ho, but uh, did you ever get a present as a child uh, during the winter times? Well, sure. I got a bunch of, um, I got a bunch of buttons to uh, re elect Eisenhower. <laughs> Ike Eisenhower. I say Eisenhower buttons. Uh, buttons uh, supporting him. Sure, or? I used to have. A, I used. To, I was a founding member of the Scoop Jackson fan club when I was in junior high school. <laughs> wait, wait. Who else do you want me to reach back to from back then? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, uh, what, what, like, I, if three more names would be great, just to place you in time. Well, Teddy Kennedy was fantastic. <laughs> just have Teddy Kennedy crisps. I would eat them for breakfast. <laughs> Ted Kennedy crisps. This is post Chappaquiddick. Well, yeah, you were supposed to just, you were supposed to knock the cereal all over and it would almost drown. Some of them would drown, but then some of them would swim back and testify, and then you could eat your bowl of cereal, Congress. <laughs> My gosh, I understand about every third word you're saying, but I, it's that's, fascinating. You know it's what? Plenty. That's politics. It's just going to go over some people's heads, and about people being involved, be involved, can be involved. <laughs> MC Sugar, but how do you spend the holidays? I spend the holidays with my fam. He's sitting right there. It's Jason Mann. That's my yeah. cousin. Your your fam your family uh, not related by blood, are you? Not related by blood. Not related by flesh. Hey, you're looking real fresh. <laughs> Is that deodorant under your arms? Yeah, it's a little bit. I put on a little splash this morning. Hell cool yeah. water brand deodorant. We, cool. we and Gino always wearing a tank top. I gotta have a tank top. Sun's out, guns out, <laughs> skies out, thighs out. Ooh. Get them going. You could try to get by, but you gotta get trapped. How many? How many tattoos do you have, Gino? <laughs> I have one tattoo, and it's of the uh, uh, island of which I was born. Yeah. Long oh, okay. Island, I slip. Fantastic airport. <laughs> Love that airport. Really, you right spend next a lot of to time a cemetery there? where my dad's buried. Do you go? To- I only fly into and out of I slip. Everywhere else, I go and sell a train, damn track. Wait, are you also being a human table at Palm Springs as well, <laughs> or are you yeah. going into the Palm Springs airport? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. If you need me to pull up Springs Airport, but I'm going to take the Acela train there, and it doesn't run there. So I'm able to jump it off the tracks and just run it. It's not like, like, like a freight, freight I've got a drumper. special loud car. I was look, I got special privileges because I have was, a loud car. I was, yes, there's a quiet car in most yep. Amtrak trains. I have the loud car. I just sit in the front and I go, hey, politics! <laughs> <laughs> All the have windows ever, are down. Have you ever, tr- yeah, the windows are down. Have you ever cleared cattle just from just sheer drool and volume? <laughs> I have special privileges to Amtrak. I was born in the Acela trade somewhere in Chesapeake Bay. You were? <laughs> How many years ago now? How old of a man are I? I look at you sometimes on television, and I can't tell exactly your age. Well, listen, that's intentional. It's intentional. You know, people have this vanity. You want to look a little bit younger, so I froze myself at 60. Ooh, you froze yourself. Yeah, I think that was my peak, so I just always want to look like a six-year-old man, vibrant. Right, okay. So you're uh, you're you're above that, but you you look... No, I'm less. I'm youthening like Marilyn. Oh, really? <laughs> I just think the gravity test is so many six years old. Really, you lend yourself to, you know, the fourth estate. How do you right. feel about, like, the current environment we're in? A lot of guys in media, a lot of guys in your world... Yeah, being are, taken down. Are you yeah. any fear of that great. from More you? room for Chris. More room for Chris. <laughs> 
Wait, your show is expanding. The halls are empty. Though. MSNBC. Very, very few people walking around. A lot less contact physically between people. <laughs> That's good. More room for Chris, you know? I didn't, Wait, I never is liked more it. room for Chris the name of a show you're doing? That's my weekend show. More room for Chris. <laughs> what are you talking That's about? It's my though? weekend fill-in show or late-night show. They do if it's like, anybody, bam, off the air, Chris Matthews fills in. More room for Chris! Is, is that about politics or about local no, interest? It's, it's about local interest. It's about, you know, just school issues, education, <laughs> bar reviews, Yelp. Look at any Yelp! <laughs> Really, you just go on Yelp and I read reviews? I go on Yelp, and I don't even necessarily vocalize. It's just me clicking through Yelp. <laughs> when you walked in, I didn't think your face could get any redder, but I was way wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chris, you okay, pal? Sure, yeah, I'm living on a diet of radishes and strawberry juice. It's very Christmassy. <laughs> yeah. It's um, festive. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> any plans for the holidays? What's the controversy? ACLU said you shouldn't have a Christmas parade. You're going to go ahead with it anyway, eat the flesh? We are going to have a Christmas parade as we always do uh, mimicking human behavior that's what we do where, where does this have, parade occur because you're in gingerbread it's houses it's inside the goddamn walls <laughs> <laughs> you know so even so when you're in living in gingerbread houses we you go do the back parade in, and do in the, the parade walls. yeah wow. yeah it's 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 a hassle it's what a happens hassle. if if a human a uh, full size human catches sight of you like, because I've never seen, so you're the first person of your kind that I've ever seen. Is that so? Oh, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was quite here? a surprise when we saw you for anybody. the first time. We're yeah. out there all the time. We well, never I, see you. So Never seen you. Why Ed Lee Stevens is surprisingly diminutive. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not talking about him. We're talking. He, no, was, he was considerably much taller. He than, is like the size of a of a, f- of a, a dollar euro, bill. Of, of but a not euro. a coin. Small, smaller than a dollar smaller bill. Smaller than a dollar bill. Foreign policy question. Shoot. <laughs> asbestos. Where do you come down? I think that asbestos that foreign is. Policy? <laughs> He's in the walls. Asbestos For him, is the it's a big deal. It's in other walls. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, asbestos. This is an issue that is considered the third rail in politics where I come from. <laughs> oh, yeah. Third uh, rail. They really fool huge fool. You, this you gets can't, me going. You can't win talking about it. You can't Reminds win for it. Can't win Express, it. Huh? Also, a very good bar. <laughs> it it is, sure. Bar. One of the stations down there, yeah. Union Station or yeah, Freedom how Station. How many stars on Yelp? Stars on Yelp? Many, yeah, stars on Yelp. Six and a half stars on Yelp. <laughs> wow. Six and a half. What, That's amazing. What Yelp you know what? You the, third, the third rail gets an unfair reputation. Go down. Just touch it. Lick it sometime. It's a little shock. It's like a battery. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt, you ever lick anything you shouldn't have? Ooh. Ooh, I'm gl- that's a great Q-U-E, Scotty D. I'm going to answer it for now for you and me. <laughs> My middle name is David, so and he knows that. <laughs> we talked about it before. <laughs> Most of the time when I'm licking things that I shouldn't be licking, <laughs> I'm getting ready to do a sticking. <laughs> Some magicians be doing trickings. <laughs> it's a note to the editor. Just take out the gears grinding a little bit. <laughs> no, keep the gears. I'm all ears. Listening to you and all my fears. I'm scared of snakes. I'm scared of bats. I'm scared of roaches. I'm scared of rats. You live in the walls? Damn, that's tall. But you're not. <laughs> That was the longest. That was the best one. The longest he's ever gone. Tight. Tight. That was an epic pen. That's a song on my new Christmas album. Eat your Christmas vegetables and drink your milk. (laughs) Everybody's got to be healthy. Eat your Gritsmas vegetables? No. <laughs> is it, you say Gritsmas? Gritsmas? Eat, eat your Gritsmas vegetables. Gritsmas vegetables. He's doing Gritsmas. That's the holiday I celebrate. You celebrate Gritsmas. I celebrate Gritsmas. <laughs> right. Uh, is that one night or one day? That is seven days. Each day represents a different Grits principle. Okay, if you want. Let's, let's run them down. What do we got? What are the Grits principles? <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? What's Principle number one. Uh, harmony. <laughs> Every, human harmony, harmony or harmony? Harmony? Peace and harmony. Harmony? H-O-M-I-N-Y. <laughs> harmony. Don't ask why. Just give it a try. <laughs> Never ask why. If someone, is, if someone serves you hominy grits, just don't Pretty ask why. Pretty good company. Oh. oh, I like that one. Is that the doors? <laughs> <laughs> it's Elton Doors. Number two. Day number two. <laughs> Corn. Don't think you can't. Think you're going. <laughs> right, right, good. Day number three, butter. Butter. Mm-hmm. Got to put the butter inside the grits, making albums, and they all hit. Good. Day good. number four, okay. salt. Salt, okay. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> you guys celebrate their tough times too? Yeah, celebrate the tough times. My political standing is salt right. <laughs> <laughs> Well we're, well, we're happy to give you plenty of access to our television. Oh. And then three more days. <laughs> <laughs> Just to round out the week. Day number five, sugar. Like me, MC Sugar B. That right. day is my birthday. Oh, really? Oh, wow. You were born happy in December? Birthday. I was born in December and October to remember. <laughs> December certainly is in October to remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then two more days. Date number five, Peppa. Well, we've already done five. Six. Oh, okay. That Day was your birthday. Six, you you remember that. Harder yeah. you <laughs> that was the one I forget the most. Uh, Day number six. You forget your birthday the most? <laughs> Nobody likes me. Oh, oh sugar butt. Hey. Sugar that- butt, are you depressed during the holidays? Forget the other two days. Are you depressed during the holidays? Yeah, forget about all the days and the rest. Sugar butt sits at home depressed. <laughs> oh, sugar butt. Uh, it can be tough for people during the holidays. It I... can, because all my family died in a bus crash. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wh- well. wh- how long ago? <laughs> it was the year 1983. Oh, about when you started rapping, yes, I would imagine. when yeah. I went into my coma. Right, yeah, because, yeah, you, you can, as previous listeners know, you uh, started rapping, then you came out of a coma, and your rap style has not changed because you've been in a coma for so long. <laughs> Absolutely, Scotty D. Give it to me and the listeners three. When you came out of the we coma. a few more than that. Oh, you got a couple more listeners since last I was here. <laughs> well, when no, you, he's talking about still listening to this episode. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. When you came out of the coma, were you able to only rap? Uh, no, no, I can talk. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh, wow. Okay, I would well, recommend trying that, that, is, that earlier. That is a real breakthrough. <laughs> oh. I remember surviving a fit, a terrible crash, or a cell train crashed into a bus, 1983. Tip O'Neill me. Wow. Cool, Chris. That might be the one, Chris M-A-T. <laughs> well, uh, glad we cleared that up. <laughs> so, so you've been alone this entire time, and you came out of the coma, and you've been alone. I, I guess I didn't think about that, but, uh, you know, we all have each other, and, uh, you know, Mayor Bobble Doonery is creeping around in the walls of everyone. And, and just, uh, come on. <laughs> eating everybody's souls. <laughs> hey, not everybody. Come on, guys. <laughs> Don't make this into something it's not. But, uh, you know, for those of uh, those of you out there, including you, uh, MC Sugarbutt, who are alone during the holidays, uh, reach out to someone. I mean, uh, is there anything? Do you want to come over to the uh, to the house or anything like that? Ooh, that'll be just fine. Oh, I feel like I've been trapped. <laughs> I'll be right there. What time does it start? Wait, he's leaving now. Wait, no, you <laughs> gotta get a head start to get to Scotty D. Uh, yeah, come by. I mean, on Christmas, not any other day. Come I'm by gonna on. come over today. Uh, What's going on? Do you have a dog? Well, here's the, well, here's the <laughs> thing. Scotty, Scotty Arkman's out acknowledging Christmas. Do you think? There's a war at Christmas. Scott DJ? Buckerman is a Muslim. <laughs> I don't know how I'm. I mean, it would be fine if I. Uh, a lot more I, shit makes sense. Scott, now. in order to in order to really kind of uh, make sure that people understand that you are a well-meaning, generous person, sure. don't you feel like you should be celebrating Christmas? Uh, Not Christmas. I'll celebrate Christmas with you. It sounds like a wonderful holiday, a full so, week. Yeah. Come on I, over I, to my H O M E, Scotty D. Christmas on me. Really? So I'm going over to your place. That's Come right. on over. Perfect. Okay, where do you live? Uh huh. Where, where do you live? <laughs> I live. Simple question. <laughs> I mean, he's just, probably nervous about just, saying it on a podcast. Just Everyone the street address. Over just the street address. Street address? 123 Elm Street. Uh oh. That's a fake address. I don't like to put my address out there. I have people trying to kill me. People are trying to Who's kill trying you? To kill yes. You? So, is what is 123 Elm Street? Is that just someone you're okay with getting killed? <laughs> Who are you sure? there? I'm very sorry. Ooh, I just got an Amber Alert. Some people oh, no. at 123. I always list Rachel Maddow's address for people who ask me. Yeah. You know what? We have to go to a break. Uh, let me give that address to me off air. I'll definitely be there for uh, this whole week. Tell Absolutely. You. All right. We need to go to a break. Uh, Mr. Heavenly, did you? You guys ready to, to uh, play another song? What do you say? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, what's this one Bud? called? Can we get Sugar Bud on this Yeah, one? Sugar Bud. You want to <laughs> yeah. just sort of uh, silently yeah, yeah, kick me out of the group? <laughs> yeah, John, take, you just take a seat. Me. All right. That's, that's, no, that's great. John, are you going to walk over there? <laughs> I'm going to get over there. I'm going to give him a piece over. of my mind. This is like what happened to your European band, the Beatles, when you were kicked out. Yeah, they told, all of a sudden we were on a podcast and they said, you're out, John. Yeah, wow. <laughs> what is this song called that you're about to do? 
This one's called Beat Down. And this is from Boxing the Moonlight as well, currently that, in stores? That's correct. And Brett, you're you're on bass guitar for yep. this? Yep. All I'll right. take over the board. Let's switch. <laughs> yep. All right. Very good. Here we go. Mr. Let's Heavenly, uh, give us a little bit of that holiday cheer. Here we go. And action. And right now, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to the magnificent song stylings of the group known as... Very nice. Yeah. Pretty good. Wonderful. Pretty good. Oh, All right, Wonderful. let's take a break. When we come back, oh, we have more guests galore. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. Roll break. <laughs> I have a problem, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm constantly losing my cash. I'm constantly losing it. it you put it in your pocket. You forget about it. Has this ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you? You leave hundreds of dollars in your jeans, and then you wash your jeans, and then you can't make rent? Yeah, that happens quite a lot to me. Okay, I don't even know why we use it anymore. It's not even paper. It, I mean, it is, like, technically, it's like cash is just an idea. Money is just an idea, right? I'm blowing my mind. Look, cash, it's easy to lose. Uh, checks, if you're writing a check to someone, I just had this experience where... I was writing a check to the to someone who runs a business, and he was saying, hey, my business account, I'm frozen out of it. Uh, could you just leave it blank? I'll figure out wh who that it should be made out to later. Like the whole checking system, maybe it was great in the 60s and in the 70s or whatever, but it's it, it it's very complicated, and it takes so long for all of this money to actually like make its way through the banks and make it to the person to whom you intend to give money. 
Well, you know me. I don't just bring up problems like this and not have solutions. I'm a solution guy. Today's show is brought to you by Zelle. Zelle, this is exciting. Zelle is a new way to send money to your friends and family from your banking app. That's right. You don't know you no longer do you need to look at your banking app and say, "Well, that's great that I have this money in there, but how do I get it to someone?" Zelle is the way to go. Once you are enrolled in Zelle, the money it moves right between bank accounts, typically just arriving in a few minutes. Just you push a button and and then your friends and family are like, "Oh, thank you, daddy." Pay your share of the cost of dad's gift. Request half the cost of the Christmas tree you bought with your roommate. Or, you know, you're so jacked, pay the pay your personal trainer for once. Don't leave them hanging. All thanks to Zelle. It's so easy to use. It works with almost anyone with a bank account in the U.S. Boy, if you're one of those people it doesn't work for, what a bummer for you. Almost anyone with a bank account in the U.S. And don't worry, Zelle is safe. And it's backed by the major banks, which means you can send money confidently and don't worry about like, oh, God, what is this shady system? Zelle is backed by all the major banks. Just go to ZellePay.com to learn more. That is Z-E-L-L-E pay.com. And you've often wondered how money moves. Zelle, this is how money moves. (laughs) <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Of course, Jason Manzukas, our old friend, uh, currently in theaters uh, with the Disaster Artist. Uh, we also have intern Gino, who's oh, back ho. with us. Ho ho, of course, and John Lennon, our good friend. Ho ho. Remember that song you sang, Happy Xmas, War is Over? Yeah, that was a good one. It was appropriate for the season. Yeah, it turned out not to be right. Yeah, well, you know, they weren't all right. We also didn't go in any submarines ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about that? She was just 17, if you know what I mean. That one, yeah, that was one of uh, George's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, no, under the about. bus, Harrison. <laughs> wow. What's he going to do? Come and get me? Mayor Junie is Bobble Doonery here as well. Yes, hello. Uh, Happy eating, holidays to all. Eating souls and taking names. Come on. <laughs> and uh, MC Sugarbutt over here. Drink your milk. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> wear your silk. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We'll take it. And uh, <laughs> the band uh, Mr. Heavenly is here as well. I uh, heard uh, a couple of great songs from them. You have a couple more coming up, right? Uh, current <laughs> album, Boxing the Moonlight, in stores now. And Chris Matthews is here. As we got well. a few late precincts reporting. We're seeing 86%. It's now coming in at 48%. <laughs> it used to be 86, 86 now it's 84. No, 86% now running in the election is now coming in as strong, showing a 48%. But that's going to be a runoff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, and another one of our friends just dropped by. Uh, he uh, oh. He's a Chicago native. Oh, man. Uh, he has a couple of stores, oh. a couple of failed businesses. Is that safe to say? Yeah, good gravy, Scott. They're all failed. <laughs> They're all failed. Yeah, uh, please welcome back to the show Gary Urbanski. Hello, um, Gary. Th- thank you. Hello. I am having a, a tough time, Scott. Really? What's it, going on during the holidays? I'm bankrupt. I'm, I'm totally wiped out. Oh. My $9.8 million is completely down the tube. That's right. How did you get that? 9.8 again? Yeah, I'm a blue collar, hard working man. Also, oh, right. I added uh, a very large trust from my great grandfather. Right. But right. look, I, it's all gone, Scott. You know, it's a weary time for me. I'm just, I'm feeling bad about myself. Uh, my last business, my winery, it's gone. Yeah, what so, was the winery called again? Uh, uh, Pace Picante Salsa Medium. <laughs> right. You decided to call your wine Pace Picante Salsa Medium. Well, I was growing tomatoes, it was an homage. <laughs> So I, that, I can understand why it didn't uh, sell well to wine drinkers and why salsa eaters would be upset. Oh, actually, it did end up selling real well. Oh, well, why are you bankrupt then? Because it burnt down. Oh, no, with yeah. the California fires? Oh, no, it was two weeks after. Oh, okay. Yeah, they said it was just too spicy in there. Oh, okay. They were like, you got The wine was too spicy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a tomato-based wine, but I put in a lot of, like, jalapenos and, like, ghost peppers and serrano Okay, so it sounds a lot like a salsa. I don't know how you mean that. I don't know what you mean by that. Is it like a drinking salsa? It was a thick paste that was best served on tortilla chips, as I'll, I'll say. Yeah, that. as Normally a wine. wine is <laughs> you know, it was in put Napa. it in the glasses. Well, I, I have a question for uh, this. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, did you, uh, you made the wine yourself? Uh, yeah, I had a team of people. Did that involve 
stomping on grapes? Yeah, you know, one time I got hurt real bad. I was just stomping the grapes and I fell out and I was like, oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, 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 o
What's going on now? <laughs> I don't know. I said cedars. I was like Stop. shortening it uh, as if it was an epithet. Yeah, I got that. But I don't know why. I said Sinai. Said. $200. Cedars, cedars, Sinai. $200. Oh, thank wait, you so much. We have $200. And do so I hear, like a 200 do I hear $201? Okay. Wait, what are, what, are, what, are we, what are we auctioning off? I got two jokers in the cub line. <laughs> Give me a seven. Okay, so the first item that I think uh, has been sold to uh, Mr. Gino over here, it is a uh, uh, my diploma from Hot Dog University. Oh. Uh, uh, that's the Vienna Beef Hot Dog University. Sure. That was my first ever, uh, you know, matriculation, my first ever. Higher education. Yeah, yeah. so it's a little grease stained, but you you got it. I graduated with relish. I mean, you didn't give us a chance to bid on it. Uh, no, he already did. He, did. I, uh, yeah, he said $200, and then it I'll ended. It was, bid it was okay. sold. I, Who's <laughs> running this box? Is that how this works? I thought oh, I was the auction. About $70. <laughs> I definitely should have waited. $70 sold. Can we, can we start Absolutely. bidding without knowing what it is? And it sold to Mr. Mitsuki. So what, what is it? This is like Survivor. We don't a row of uh, uh, Comiskey Park seats from the original Whoa. Comiskey Park. You Jeez. can put them in your loft. There Whoa. are 22 of them, and I How welded them know? together. For $70. The original, oh, original cement and steel awning still attached to it? <laughs> a chunk of it ripped out of his tape? This guy just Actually, spent $200 yes. on a diploma from Hot Dog University. <laughs> he <laughs> spent $70 seats seats for the Comiskey Park. You got it, Mayor. Hold on a second. Wait, what did he get? This is so great. Thank you so much. You just got a brand new Tesla. The new what? Whoa. This is, all right. I bought it. I Wait, can't drive can't it. Do you, have, do you have dollars or He's do you have cookies? It's electric. Uh, I have cookies. Well, he only has cookies. I'll, I'll do $70. Sold. I'll pay the cookies that Scott has Nobody heard to the man. Nobody <laughs> Oh, there's so many. There's layers, wow. guys. There's layers. <laughs> Lots of layers. Uh, you guys have been how many so layers? generous. That, well, how, thank you so much for charity. So great of you guys. You've been so generous. It's so this is going to great. What's the charity? Ten pounds of grits we <laughs> hear. <pounds>. Oh, so <laughs> to, to me, but I don't have any money right now. Can I pay you back later? <laughs> Absolutely. I take IOUs. I'm wearing a shirt and I'm wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So man wait, what of the year, that man was both stack of man of the year. I've been man of the year Time magazines going back ten years. Uh, so, to, you, but you can keep that one. I win, then I keep what I Okay, yep. great. Is that what he's getting or giving you? Hey, you know, this is the Are season. you also buying stuff? I don't think. I think you are acting as the auctioneer. I'm sorry. Yeah, You're the right. Mayor is. Uh, mayor Bubble Junery is having no part of the auction. I mean, I've tried. You're I, right. I, I, is Jason Manzukis uh, challenging the results of the auction? Yeah, I, are, we gonna, know, are we going to check the chance? Are we going to check the ballot I, boxes? Well, Chris, Chad, according Chris. to Jason Van Circus, <laughs> news breaking here, right? I did hardball. <laughs> this isn't hardball, Chris. Sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> Chris keeps hardball in his heart all the year round. I got a couple of hardballs. <laughs> Gary, I'm not challenging. I, I'm the, I, I offer no challenge. Gary, what, 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 what is the charity that you're giving? Oh, you haven't brought, a, brought this up. Oh, well, these are my most prized possessions. They're my most cherished sure, items. So sure, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, very, it's, it's for charity that I'm doing this. Wait, so right, the money is just going to you? Well, it's incredibly charitable of me to part with these items. So, you know. You're just selling your shit. I no, I am look. I am a have. I like to impart things to the have nots. And if a modest transactional thing should occur, then who am I to say let them not eat cake? <laughs> okay, this I I mean, fifty dollars sold. What, okay, what, what did do you he got? got? <laughs> what do you have, Jim Lennon? Okay, what do you have? I thought, I thought <laughs> yeah, was, you're, no, the, I have you're the, the one dollars. with something. Wait, now I feel oh, like you're great. not doing this right at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. I should turn it over to now the mayor. Now he's giving you money and his possessions. The mayor can't talk. <laughs> yeah. He's busy yeah. taking a deep inhale from Brett's ear. <laughs> That's no none of your business. What are you it's, doing to Brett over there? Get I'm away from just, him. I'm just, te just testing the waters. By the way, it saying. answers a lot of questions <laughs> yeah, I had about Brett's Brett. evil? I, I don't. I, that's your words, not mine. I guess rock and roll is evil generally, right? Well, of course. Hey, come on. Some of us but put why? a lot of time Certainly into rock and roll. Why do you seem now bigger and more robust? <laughs> yeah, you're glowing a little. Yeah, you well, almost seem to be as big as a dollar bill. Yeah. I guess I'm just feeling satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those teeth. Oh, those, those rows of sharp, retractable teeth. <laughs> that's rude. Why do you need <laughs> teeth if you're just eating souls? You would think that that would be for uh, ripping into sinews of some kind. <laughs> Maybe it's to subdue the... <laughs> It doesn't feel that bad. Cedar. Did see, I do it? See. Oh, Get out helping, bro. See. You did Brett, a good one. Brett, you don't feel like pulling a jinx, do you? Murdering anyone? Well, uh, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Right now. I'm Wait, it's all dependent on how tired. how funny we are? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> fucked. Man, by the way, my... I got a question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> MC Sugarbutt. <laughs> say... 
What do souls taste like, man? Do they taste like a bundle of cocaine? <laughs> That's We've asked that very interesting <laughs> half an hour ago. That, that actual question was asked before. <laughs> <laughs> well, did we get the answer? Bundle of cocaine or something else? Look, look, look. A- a- answers, questions. This is the nature of democracy. This is how we move forward. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to be with all of you at this time of year, this holy season, wow. to so many people. Wow, he answered God that bless question. you. Wow. God bless people inside the walls and God bless oh. people outside the walls. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. Tremendous eloquence coming from the mayor's office. <laughs> it was a prepared beautiful. statement. <laughs> Amazing. Just right off the dome. <laughs> wow, wow, that's incredible. Look, uh, we need to take another break. Uh, you guys ready for another break? Sure. Uh, we'll be yeah. back after these messages. Oh, no. You're on Hardball. <laughs> no, you're not on Hardball. Actually, Mr. <laughs> Heavenly, are you guys. Are you I guys, love that band. Oh, you like Mr. I Heavenly? I love them, Mr. Well, they're, guys. They're sitting here so in the room. They're right here. These broken wings. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's Mr. 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 Again. Mr. Yeah, Mr. No, both of them. No, this is a different Mister. Mister Heavenly, you guys ready to play another song? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think guess. so. I what mean, do you What do you got? What are, what are well, you gonna? They're not gonna do anything with the broken wings. Play, they're Brett? just gonna leave them there broken. Well, Brett's eyes look a lot different, so maybe he should be the one who picks the song. Yeah, Brett, what yeah, song do you want? Your eyes here? are very black right now. What are we doing? Blue Blue lines. Oh, blue lines matter. Oh, All right, yeah, let's, sounds right, like yeah. a blue line. <laughs> Let's Switch seats for me. That's the full uh, Brett, title. I'll take over. Gary, this. do you want to come and sit in with us on this one? Oh, thank you so much. How do you know I play dulcimer? <laughs> uh, listen for our you little, bring your hammer. Uh, our little cookie dulcimer line for sale. All right, so uh, Blue Lines. This is off the album Boxing the Moonlight. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, you guys ready to do? Ready to go here? Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. Do all right, let's here we go. John. All right, here we go. This is Mr. Heavenly. Thank you, Mr. Heavenly. Oh. 
break. mentions. That was nice as all heck. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, oh, even more people will be here. We'll Big be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. Have no, this. not Hardball. We'll be right back. Cue break. <laughs> Sleeping. We have to do it. By law. Nature's law. And God's law. And Cole's law. <laughs> but look, uh, I, sure, we wish that there was some sort of step in human evolution where we no longer had to sleep, right? I mean, I, I technically, yeah, I enjoy sleeping. Nothing better than a nice quick snooze, saw on the old logs. But um, can you imagine a world where you didn't have to sleep and you just transferred your consciousness into android bodies? That's the dream. But right now, you got to sleep. And the bummer about sleeping is you're not able to do all the charity work that you do while you're awake, while you're asleep. It's just, you can't do it. You're sleeping. But what if, what if Stanislavski's magic what if, what if you could give back while you slept? We all want to do it. That is number two under what if we didn't have to sleep at all? If we didn't have to sleep at all, we could just continue doing our charity work. But what if, since we have to sleep, what if you could give back while you slept? Well, we have something going on here with Lisa. All right, Lisa, I've been talking about them for years. Lisa, it is an innovative direct-to-consumer online mattress brand, but they also happen to be socially conscious. They are driven by a mission of their own devising, it wasn't like they were, uh, they're not like uh, uh, King Arthur who was told by God to go find the, the Holy Grail. No, they came up with this mission, and their mission is to provide a better place to sleep for everybody. They thought of that, and then they were like, now I'm driven to do it. That's unfortunately how uh, brains work sometimes. You think of an idea, and then you're like, I got to do it, I got to do it. It's almost like a madness, like a sickness. That's what Lisa's all about. They have this sickness where they are driven to provide a better place to sleep for everybody. So while they do it, they decided, but we want to give back to. So for every 10 mattresses Lisa sells, they donate one to a shelter through their 110 program. Great. So while you're sleeping, one-tenth of the time, if you're sleeping you know, eight hours, that is 480 minutes, right? So for 48 minutes while you're sleeping, that's, you're just giving to charity. You're just giving to charity while you're doing that. That's amazing. Best of all, Lisa's patented universal adaptive feel is designed for types of sleepers and features three premium foam layers. I, I said foam layers, which in a way, it's like, why is this called foam and not phloem? That's another thing that Lisa needs to address. Anyway, these layers, I've talked about them a lot. Two-inch Avena, two-inch memory foam, six-inch dense court support foam. You guys know everything about the layers. Did you know that Lisa is now available online in the U.S., the U.K., the Canada, and the Germany, or at the Lisa Dream Gallery in NYC? God, I wish I lived in NYC so I could go visit this Dream Gallery. That's one of my greatest regrets in life that I didn't get SNL so I could go visit this dream gallery. Oh, well. Uh, this 100% American-made mattress ships to you compressed in a box right to your door, right to your door. So you can save a trip to the store. You have to take a trip to your front door, but I imagine that's pretty convenient for you. No wonder that, that, that this is a Forbes top 20 startup to watch. No wonder. I don't know what criterion... Criterion, yes, that they base it on. I don't know, but it's no wonder. Uh, I have a Lisa. They're great. I sleep like a baby. Try a Lisa mattress in your own home for 100 nights risk-free with free shipping always. You will get $100 off when you go to leesa.com slash bang bang. That is leesa.com slash bang bang. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. We have Jason Manzoukas here. Yeah, yeah baby. Uh, Ho-Ho took off, but uh, Inter Ho-ho. Gino's still here <laughs> saying Ho-Ho, good. You're welcome. Yep, and uh, John Lennon, of Gino. course. <laughs> saying Gino for I'm borrowing it. Sure, okay. Uh, Gino does, I mean, do you mind? Mayor Junius mind Bubble right. Doonery. Hello, constituents. And uh, Hello. let's see, we also have, uh, of course, Gary Urbanski. Hey, um, thank you so much. Buy my items. Okay. They're for charity. Okay, sure, I guess. Five dollars. Oh, sold. 
<laughs> oh, what, what, what did you get? You got uh, my indentured servitude for 10 years. Oh, my God. Wow. What, for $5? Yes. Wow. I don't know my work. Gary, you got, you got to let me auctioneer for you. I'm yeah. sorry. I got flustered. You're just saying sold as soon as you're the first yeah. bit. Sold. No. Oh, what? <laughs> what? That doesn't even. You got it. You got it all from me. That's what, it. What happened? By the way, she, she said sold, not earned. She. He. Sorry. Whoa, whoa. This is a real he said, oh, he wait, said oh, wait, situation. Wait, wait, hey. Bada bing. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> You bada bing, the, you know what I mean? The Sopranos. <laughs> you M- the speaking of bada bing, know what I mean? MC Sugar Butt is here. <laughs> uh, these wings, I just take them. It took your mama nine months to make them. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, yes, bringing Christmas, Christmas into it. Christmas. <laughs> and speaking of Chris, Chris Matthews. Thank you. Great transition. We're back <laughs> in hardball. We've got Scott Ackerman and Pat Buchanan coming up next. <laughs> I'm already here, and no, Pat Buchanan's not coming up next. <laughs> And uh, this is exciting. We we talked to them last year, uh, and I believe maybe during the uh, uh, sometime previously this year, uh, <laughs> they were here last year during the holidays season. Um, they've they've been out there at uh, Hammer Nissan for a number of years. Hammer, 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 Hammer Nissan, Hammer, Hammer, Nissan. Uh, spelled H A M M E R. Hammer, sorry. <laughs> Uh, please welcome back to the show, Keith Jones and Ming. Hello. Hello, Hello hi. Hi, guys. Uh, How's it going? Hello, Scott. Uh, it's great to see you guys. Uh, Good to see you. You might notice that Norm... Of uh, Hamer. Norm Hamer is not here. Yeah, you uh, set it up a little bit. You guys yeah. have <laughs> set it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a classic story. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> your only job, yeah. Scott. <laughs> set, set it up a little bit. Help I don't remember. Along. No, we can It's do very it. hard to it's understand. It's very you, clear. You, you guys have had your hands on a, on a used <laughs> car for a long time. Yes, a yes. very... A, a, this car Two has years. fallen down a hill. <laughs> it's painted matte yellow yes. now. <laughs> It's in yes. bad, bad shape. It's a contest. Though. My you name's guys... Keith Jones. I'm a woman. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I donated $7 million to the victims of 9-11. I buried it next to their dead bodies. Yeah. It's a classic has story. Any, has anyone it's recovered that money yet? It's more of a mockery than a donation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, what is really a donation <laughs> but a way to show someone that you are above them? That's, mm-hmm. that's, right. that's a good point. It's I really guess. about status. That's a yeah. great point. You guys can all donate to me whenever See? you'd like to. I well, have an open Patreon as well. I donate it, but why not? More money. I donate 10 pounds of grits. <laughs> Except it. Sold. It's actually worth What I win? Is um, that pre-cooked weight or post-cooked weight? That's a good good point for Ming. <laughs> five pounds pre-cooked, five pounds post-cooked. Oh, hey, oh it keeps its weight. Have oh, you use those, it's the waterless grits recipe, right? <laughs> These grits ain't got no water. I got a son and a daughter. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were all alone. Uh, <laughs> did they you, die in the bus crash, too? You've been oh, in a coma. Died. <laughs> uh, they did. These bullets are filled with lead. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, hey. Oh, that's right. Put I your guns go. away. <laughs> <laughs> Did Ho Ho give you those? <laughs> oh, I was standing at the dodo. <laughs> I got these two guns from Ho Ho. Ho right, yeah. Uh, so, oh, Keith yeah. Uh, and Ming, yes. are you guys still involved in the cut? Co- Where's Norm? You were so, saying uh, Norm is uh, gone? Norm uh, is. Uh, tragically passed away. Oh He's no! Oh, wow. Yes, yes. it's very devastating. <laughs> so he that was, guy's uh, just dead. He was. Yeah. So we'll never, he hear, from we'll never no, hear from him again. We'll never hear from Norm Hamer. No. Does never he know? Again. He never was again. in Las Vegas. <laughs> yes, he and, got shot. Uh, he got shot in a car. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, after there was an altercation in a <laughs> casino, and he went out to his car in okay. possibly in a, a limo. Yeah, black BMW. <laughs> BMW, black BMW, in a car pull up to him and shot inside. Oh, no. Shot him. Yeah. This is shot like a, his passenger, Suge yeah. Knight. <laughs> yes. Wait, this is, <laughs> yeah, he shot his passenger, Suge Knight. Wait a minute. Um, Suge Knight out of prison was, long enough to was, be assassinated. <laughs> he had, there was like 90s beef yes. or something with this him. This sounds exactly like what happened to Tupac. That's, huh, I don't, that's what, that's, wow. that's what, we don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But, All right. So he's gone. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. So are you so, guys, well, we're the contest the test is over. Uh, is he going to well, have a hologram appear at Coachella? Yeah. <laughs> Great question. That's Chris. a good question. Definite, definite, the Norm, definitely. The Norm Hamer hologram? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those kids will be excited to see a hologram the of that ha- car dealership guy. <laughs> the Hamergram? <laughs> it looks like lifelike. 
he will be yeah. have the waving arms like the balloon man. Yeah, he's given two point nine eight percent APR percent <laughs> at the Sahara you got stage. This. You got I got this. this. Uh, but no, we're currently uh, in a carstity battle. Yes, a, a, car, a carstity battle. Oh, 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 come on, that's a great premise. I'm afraid I don't get it. That's a great premise for a guest appearance. I miss Norm. <laughs> Norm. All right, Norm. Norm. Those are the Ram things. I like him. <laughs> we currently share the vehicle. Yes. Um, yeah. Two weeks each. The tra- transfer- two weeks each. Two, just two weeks a year? <laughs> no, no, two weeks and then two weeks and two weeks. Oh, okay, and two weeks. I beg yeah. your pardon. You would switch off every two weeks. I'm not trying to clown you, Ming. I'm you sorry. are trying to make me look like a buffoon. No, I'm not. You're, and I don't. Don't do that to me. It. You know, I will, I will block it. Norm was really the energy. glue that held you guys together. I gotta say. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't working just with the two of us. <laughs> no, no, no. It's working great. Once you had Karstity battle, <laughs> everything clicked into That's place. That's when it got good, right? <laughs> Scott Alkerman, I will. Go to my grave <laughs> trying to ruin you. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you, are, you are trying to make me look bad, and everyone knows it. What do you think I've, this laughter is with or at? I think it it's, I think at, it's at. It well, a lot at. of people have wondered that about uh, your appearances. It's at. <laughs> is it laughter at or with? <laughs> oh, people have a problem. People have a problem with Ming's appearance. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder why. Ming, can you extrapolate on that? <laughs> can I extrapolate on my own appearance? <laughs> yeah, it, why would anybody have a problem with you? No, no one does except Scott Alkerman. Uh, oh, you're okay. right, you're right. It's, it's only me. It's only problem. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. I so will dance tell on us. your grave one day. <laughs> All right, Ming. All right, Ming. <laughs> tell us about this car study battle. But briefly, briefly. <laughs> briefly, very briefly. briefly. Next year's holiday show is on Scott's grave. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I, will, I will do a dance from any request. I will take requests. I will learn a dance. Okay, that, like that the Roger is- Rabbit? I do it. The cabbage patch. I will. <laughs> you would take, you'd take a request yeah. from you Scott. Live in a cabbage patch? Dance I will hold. I will take dance you. lessons. Yeah, you on really want to nail that routine on his grave. Okay. All right. I'll <laughs> will, send you some choreography. You I can will learn. have a picnic on your grave. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about the battle. Well, it's uh, you know we both get the car for two weeks. You um, know it feels like we shouldn't do it anymore. <laughs> It feels terrible at this point. We want to hear yeah. it. This bit based on a pun <laughs> is hard to do. It also know. seems like you already have it worked out. Yeah. Where you have a system in place. Yeah, well, he we keeps go. dropping the car off late to me. Well, right. after the two weeks. We after go. the two weeks. That's something we, we can do. <laughs> yeah, and I get... <laughs> get really mad. Oh, oh. Yeah, because she v- gets so upset. Uh, she told the judge that he's involved in this. <laughs> judge sure. Judy. Sure. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah. But on it's her off judge time. Judge Judy? Not on the show. Judge oh, Judy. Okay. Yeah, but it's In Gloria Allred. <laughs> Wait, Judge <laughs> Judy is Gloria Allred? No, I never put Gloria that Gloria Allred is doing her Judge Judy impression. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> hey, if you guys need an extra car, I uh, I have one actually up for auction. Yeah, just say any amount of dollars and he'll sell it to you. Oh. Aim okay. high. Five dollars. Oh, sold. You got it. <laughs> what car? It's the second to latest brand new Tesla. The, the most so latest one went to the new. mayor. No. Oh, a went car to, I cannot drive. It went to Mayor um, Dungleberry over there, hey. and now I got Excuse it. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I don't want a new car. I want my car. You don't want you this know, slightly I, used Tesla? No. I, I like I like my car because I have it's emotional mine. attachment to this car, now this Sintra, the right. Nissan, Nissan Sentra. Is, um, yeah, when you put your hands a on a hard car. body for three straight years. You absorb the... Yeah, it must feel like part of your body almost. Almost, almost mm-hmm. like your soul. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What's yeah. That? Speaking of souls, Mayor Bob Dunery <laughs> is getting mighty close to your ears. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no reason. Oh. Just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, you, you you may want to swat him away. He's, yeah, get he's, out of here. Wait, hey, ow. As Wolf. big as a dollar bill, but he eats your soul. I'm not as big as a dollar bill. Okay, almost. I'm, like, I'm almost as big <laughs> yes. as a dollar bill. But the soul eating, you have no dispute okay, with. You do look, do that. Why do we get hung up on this? <laughs> so you're bigger than a silver dollar, right? That's correct. There you go. But probably less, you weigh less, in a way. <laughs> About the same. 
Really? You're like, that's a silver dollar? Yeah, are you I'd like say three so. silver You're... dollars tall? <laughs> what about like a loony or a toonie? Yeah, where, where do you fall on these toonies? What about uh, a pound? <laughs> I weigh less than a pound for sure. How many half pennies? <laughs> Well, I haven't got a hot penny. Oh, well, God bless you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, how are you going to settle this dispute? I mean, obviously, Judge Judy's involved or Glory Allred or something. <laughs> I mean, we're rotten with specifics, but we're having yes. trouble nailing yeah. down the story. It's getting crazier and crazier, but there's no core there. <laughs> We're all trying to help you find it. Yeah. It's, like, it's like when you see the Tron guys racing around. Yeah. And they just keep going. On light bikes? On light bikes, yeah. yeah. And they can keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. That's this story. Right. Ultimately, at some point, you just have to look at yourself and go, maybe it's okay. Maybe there's not much of a problem in my life. Things are good. Let's celebrate the holidays and move on with our winnings. Yeah. I guess you're right. Why don't you celebrate the holidays together? And, and take the car and share it and take it out uh, together. You know, one of you get drive. together. Yeah, you know, one of me you... and Ming. Well, I well, think... I've I've put myself out there. <laughs> really, You're, yeah. you've thought about it. Yeah, you've put yourself out there to date Ming. Yeah, hey, Ming. What? Uh, I mean, have you wanted to date <laughs> Keith Jones? <laughs> Wait, the solution is just date each other. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah because... so we could have a good home for the car. I see. Yeah, you'd be a mom and dad well, to the car. Yeah, right? and the car, you know, probably could... Uh, I don't mean to try to parent trap you guys, but, you know, I mean, I maybe you guys be, belong together. I would be open to coffee. <laughs> now that you... Now that <laughs> to have, you know, it's a neutral daytime, you're not, sure. not the pressure of a nighttime Could dinner. it turn into a lunch? It's yeah. just coffee, Texas Chicago. Yeah. If you start with coffee, then you have the option of lunch, but if someone has to leave, then... It's not awkward. Right, right. Right? Well, yeah. I mean, well, we did we did go out for breakfast, and then you had to leave all of a sudden. Well, that was a legitimate emergency. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what's, what, what happened, Ming? What's Ming going got, on? Wait, so now Ming we're just said, exploring <laughs> with Ming and Keith? Is that what we're just doing? Yeah, yeah what, we have nothing, so we got to find something. <laughs> Wait, I, well, what, what's at the, what point do like, the other ten people in the room yeah. start participating in the show? Huh? <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah, give I you feel like crazy. we talked to them plenty at this point. <laughs> we'll yeah. give you one more chance. What was the emergency? <laughs> what was the emergency? I had a. Uh, you're you asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm asking Ming. <laughs> so you put it all it's all Ming. on Ming, huh? I all right, had, Ming. I had Bring a, it home. I had a muscular. What do you call it? Dystrophy? Uh, no, no, oh. just a muscular uh, spasm. Yes. You got a spasm. <laughs> terrible, terrible. Are we mad, Libby? Cast now. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Terrible calf oh, no. spasm. All Have right. you had a calf spasm so deep? You had a calf spasm. <laughs> so deep. Mm -hmm. It uh, puts your ass to sleep? Yeah. All right. I passed out of sleep from a calf spasm. <laughs> In the Denny's uh, parking lot, I pass out from the calf spasm. So that's not a good place to pass out, by the no. way. All right. The and I took that as a no. All right, Ming, you, you had a calf spasm. <laughs> Weird, crazy story. Oh. Wait. Whoa, whoa. Who, who said that? Oh. Was that? Was that one of you, Mr. Heavenly? <laughs> no, it was me, Ernie Bread. <laughs> Ernie, Ernie Bread? Yeah. Er, Ernie Bread. Ernie Bread. Ernie, Ernie, Ernie or Ernie? Ernie. 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 Yeah, Ernie. The second time it sounded like Artie. I'm one of the most popular new characters this year. Characters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> popular way. Cavalcade of characters on the show. I, I'm one of the oh, most Oh, I see. Characters yeah. and, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Were wait. you on the show this year? Does a duck quack? That's my catchphrase. That's your catchphrase. Yeah, I've been on a bunch. I've been on dozens of times. I this year? Yeah. I I, I mean, admittedly, I don't remember every single episode sure, that yeah. I've ever done uh -huh. uh, minutes after I conclude them. But yeah. uh, Ernie, I'm having trouble remembering the episodes. You, do you remember the the titles of the episodes you were on? Uh. Uh, Ernie Bread Part One. Oh. <laughs> Meet Ernie Bread. <laughs> Which uh, came after Part One. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't meet him till the second one. Well, yeah. it's, it's like of, Jason. It began in it's like one of those guys that you just knew and you never knew how you knew it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the return of Ernie Bread. Okay. Any, Remember meeting Ernie Bread. Any relationship to a gingerbread man? <laughs> or a gingerbread house. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ernie, Mayor Bobble Junery lives in the main. Ernie Bread, you say you're one of the most popular characters this year in the yeah. hardball. 
But you, Jen, <laughs> your reputation has suffered because some of your supporters have taken it too far. How do you answer for the uh, Ernie Bros? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I guess I'll just say what I always say. Does a duck quack? <laughs> Does a duck quack? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Scott, you so can't you jump on someone's him. catchphrase like so that. Could you remember it's almost as if Scott is a little pre-exhausted for some reason. <laughs> I, I just, Ernie, I don't, uh, I don't think. Uh, what, you think I was across the street at the pond feeding ducks and I just walked in here today? <laughs> I, to be honest, I, I look, we, we tape the show here at the Airwolf Studios. We're across the street from the major Los Angeles pond. Yes. <laughs> the L.A. pond. The L.A. pond. The L.A. pond. And where I, the, the L.A. Paddlers play. Yep, and where they have L.A. Pond Fest. Yeah, and I've looked across the street, and I've said, "We're that's funny, we're doing a pod, and there's a pond. And I've laughed about that, but every single time that I look at you, or I look at the pond, I see you over there. Uh-huh, yeah, well, I've Oh, had so you the, do know him. I've, I'm recognizing him now the, the minute the that he said laugh. pond. You've had the opposite. I've said, here I am at a pond. <laughs> look over there, they're doing a pod. Really? That's yeah. so crazy. Say yeah. Ernie. Ernie. Yeah. <laughs> You're not at all involved in any sort of duck city battle, are you? <laughs> I learned my lesson about that one. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> this sounds like a duck tale. Hmm. Boo. <laughs> boo. No one to boo you since you're the booer. <laughs> That's right. I will boo remember myself. That, remember, boo. That brief moment of, remember that brief moment of support. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, you're just a guy. You just came over here, right? You, right, right. And I'm one of the most popular characters on the no, show. No, I mean, no, you've never... <laughs> You've never been on the show before. I would remember. Do you I, listen to the show? Do you know what this show is? Sure, yeah. It's, it's uh, the show where we... You listen to all the episodes. I listen to the show where even the Do you know our tagline? Do you know our tagline? Politics. Wait, you even listen to the solo bolo ones? <laughs> no, nobody, li- nobody listens to those, Come on, right? they're very popular. I know two people do. Listen to our best... <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> do you ever listen to the... the, the... Do you ever listen to the the knockoff live concert bootlegs that people do at the concerts where you hear Scott Ackerman's long solos? Right. It's not the studio version. If, if you've been on the show before, you must know our tagline. The show where we... Met Major Thackeray. <laughs> Major Thackeray? Who's that? Did someone call for Major Thackeray? <laughs> Ernie, Ernie. This is, you're, you're just, you what? just put on a silly voice. So? I thought that's what we're doing here. No, no these are real people. It. These are real people. If so, if I, what, what sort of listening device would I need to listen to this if I wanted to, to listen to uh, it? Earbuds? Uh, or any kind of a computer or anything that can access the internet. Smart or phones. a team of interns who filter the wider world so you don't have to look at much. Sometimes I just get a mixing bowl and I point it at the Hollywood sign like a satellite dish. That works pretty good. Yeah. I catch a lot of frequencies that way. I listen to them live here in the studio. See, that's what I want to get into. You could burrow into the walls of someone listening to it in their home. That would be smart. <laughs> Is there any way to... By the way, Mayor Bubble Doonery, uh, were you born this way, like Lady Gaga once said? Or is there a way to turn, uh, I won't say regular-sized people, but human beings into your race? What are you, Rachel Dolezal? <laughs> <laughs> that I, is weird. Maybe. I identify as a soul leader. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if he, if Ernie seems to want to hang out here a lot, maybe he wants to become a soul leader, like he's, you. I think he's a little too big to live in the walls. I'm, that's what I'm asking. Is there a way to magically transform him into a smaller person? Like something that I just haven't told anybody about, but that we do to people all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. With or without their consent. Like soul eating. (laughs) Okay. (sighs) I suppose there is a way that that could happen, yes. Really? Really? Yeah, is really. A, a magical. A I mean, magi- you, you guessed it in one, and then you're so surprised. Is it some sort of. I confirmed ma- it. <laughs> like a magical process Are or you, a scientific process? It's a one? scientific process. It's scientific. With a little bit of magic involved. Okay, well. <laughs> the, so magic magic. Is, the magic is caring. Oh, okay. Mr. Mr. Mayor, is it true what I read on Tumblr that the soul is in a little kernel inside the brain? <laughs> the eye of Horus, is that true? <laughs> Look, we've been. As a as a as a 
It's a simple station. question, yes I, or no. no okay, yeah, I, let, let me have my, please, please. I am for it. Please, uh, I'm trying to answer your question, okay? I'm trying answer to answer your question. question. We've got a limited amount of time. I'm trying to answer your question, and you keep interrupting me. So let me, let me, you've asked the question, let me answer. Horus or Isis? Okay. Where do you come Are down? you going to let me answer Where's the, the question? Are you, the I, question's been posed. Okay, it's a tiny but, kernel in the center, center of the brain. And right. that's all the time we have. So, oh, see? Sold. <laughs> One <laughs> argument to wow. all of us. We divide it up and listen. Listen back to it when we're lonely. Ernie, are you are you interested in becoming a little person so you can hang out here all the time? I don't know. I'd be smaller than ducks. Sm- <laughs> yes, <laughs> you would be smaller than ducks. Yeah, yeah. But you could ride on them. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's I mean, true. think about it. This is starting to sound an awful lot like the new Alexander Payne movie, Downsizing. Well, What's you that? know, we talked about that. We talked about <laughs> oh, the last did, time you were on oh, the show. Oh, really? I, I remember. I couldn't believe that was the title of it. Well, no, we, we had Neil Patrick Harris on last That's week right. to talk about but it. It's a, I, very, it's a very good film. I've seen the trailer since then, and it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Has no, anybody seen The Shape like of the Water? <laughs> Sharon yeah. Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> Saw the trailer. Guillermo del Toro. There's a creature in the water that makes you feel after the first act, maybe I'm the creature in the water. Click, <laughs> click it around. Click, click. <laughs> click, 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 click. I would love nothing more than Chris Matthews' movie reviews. <laughs> That's what you do on the weekends? Well, I feel like, the, yeah, I just feel whatever I watch. I feel Have you like seen any other movies? Sure, yeah, I've seen movies. What's your favorite film? This year. The Secret of Nim. I just think <laughs> the what? struggle of that cat trying to get the little guy in the, in the inside the log. What a thing. You remember that from just from 1980, whatever, 55, 1956. The, se- the secret was love. They went, that is a secret of them, yeah. Yeah, just like the fifth <laughs> element. Great Mouse Detective. I love cartoons from the 80s, right in the middle but between animation was good and it was good again. When there was that little trough, that's my favorite. The Dark Crystal? Fable Goes West. I love West. it, Dark. Well, that's uh, your puppetry, sure. Not oh, uh, sorry, Not what added. am I thinking of? The Black American Cauldron. American Tale? Yeah. Black Cauldron. Dark yeah, Crystal, Fable. Black Cauldron. Ernie, are you interested in, in becoming smaller than a duck? Can I have one year to decide? <laughs> You're not coming back next year. <laughs> Look, Ernie, I'm leading you into your catchphrase. Do are you interested in becoming little? D Duck's quiet. <laughs> All right, he's into it. All right. Oh man! Like All right, let's let's hear. That. Let's let's uh, catchphrase that means no. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's do this process, Mayor Mayor Had Bubble Doonery. Oh, we're everything. gonna do it right here. That's yeah, we're doing it right now. <laughs> what is it? A shrinking ray? All or right. is it? It's uh, wow. We're giving them way less time than the car guys. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming back to you, car guys. Have you figured it out? Ming's having a calf spasm. It's, it's pulsing in the... It's at the pulsing stage, but it's building in intensity. Ow! Thank you, Ming. Yes. Ow, building. He's poking me. I'm Wait. trying to extend my foot in order to, <laughs> to head yeah, it up. Not... Does anyone have a banana? Potassium helps. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no one I do, but I'm saving it. <laughs> I got a bag sorry. full of grits. That, oh, yeah. You hung it up next to that candy cane. Any, any banana grits? No banana grits. <laughs> no banana cheese. <laughs> Oh, okay. Don't even bother asking. Old lady, is there a banana in your uh, plastic bag? <laughs> oh, listen to that voice quaver. No, just it's my usual theater snacks. <laughs> Do you have a banana flavor candy? <laughs> oh, I had some, uh, one of those uh, taffies, banana taffy. It's good. Let I'm me sorry. try it. You, like can, you never don't try something, you right? You never don't try something. <laughs> That's what they say. All right, the old woman's got to go. I got to go. All right, Mayor Bubble Doonery. I back. Ah, uh, steady as a rock. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ernie, was it? Ernie Bread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How big is a pond before it has to be a lake? Good question. <laughs> Wait, is this part of the ceremony? <laughs> yes, it is. Is this part of the shrinking ceremony? Yes, it is. Thank you, Ming. We asked five questions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I got, I got question number two. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are no answers. We just asked the five questions. Just ask. Okay. Uh, was your name bred before or after you found your proclivity to feeding ducks? Before. Next question. Oh, <laughs> no, answer. no, 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 answers. no answers. Unprecedented. <laughs> Give me question Sugar number butt. three, Scotty D. <laughs> <laughs> Here's question number three for you, Ernie B. I want to see what you N O E. No Valley, fantastic Perry, San Francisco. <laughs> Ernie, I got a question. Answer me this or riddle me that. <laughs> Enough lead up. <laughs> Classically, the question always comes on the 12th bar. This is a, fe- this is a, st- a strict feature verse right here. <laughs> Ernie, 
what's your favorite type of candy? <laughs> Good question. All right. Who asked question number four? Hard, uh, hardball? Yeah. Where do you come down on McCain Feinkel? Okay. Good. Good. Oh, uh, what? Uh, our fifth question think, from Gary Urbanski. No. Uh, my, uh, I haven't seen a movie since uh, the classic Sideways starring Paul Giamatti. What should be my next foray into film? Should I choose to do that? All right. There we have our five questions. Now what happens? Ernie, take off your watch. Okay. <laughs> Sold. I'm going to give this to a friend of mine. <laughs> he works over at Longo's. <laughs> he'll, he'll take this. You're not going to need it anymore. Hamer is up for uh, new leadership management. <laughs> oh, yes, Hamer, yeah. Hamer Nissan? Yeah. 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 Yes. Nissan. Yeah. Just, um, you mentioned Longo's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What comes next? Ernie, close your eyes. Do it. <laughs> I want <laughs> So loud. so loud. That's so strange. weird. It's so strange. The noise. Was that the sound of the eyes closing? That was the or? sound of his. Yes, his eyelids covering his eyes. Oh, hey, gulp. Louder heavy, than I thought it would be. Heavy wet eyes. <laughs> Think of yourself in the universe and your relative size to the vastness of outer space. Keep thinking about it. Think about it some more. Really think about it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Holy oh my gosh. mackerel. He's, uh, he's smaller than a bread box. He's smaller than a bread slice. He's smaller than Ernie Bread. Used to be. They, yeah, that's established from the bread box comment, right? Right, yeah. Okay. Why Do we have to just compare him to bread items? <laughs> sure. Because his name was Ernie Bread? <laughs> well, still, isn't it still Ernie Bread? <laughs> my job here is done. <laughs> oh, you wow. did it. Wow. All right, you did, your job was to get yourself shrunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can listen to every show that we do from no, now on. No, no, I won't do that. That was all of a ruse. You just wanted to be small. Yeah. And now we're, does he get to eat souls now? Do you, do you want to eat souls? Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, I, okay. Does. Well, uh, oh, God, he's getting real close to Gino. <gasps> oh, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the sweet release. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that, shit. No, that, that makes you feel good, Gino? That made me feel real good. I got to fucking oh. swap out my Mac Weldon's. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey, they're microbiotics, so. Antimicrobial. Uh, okay. okay. They're not microbiotics. Micro- I don't know. I don't know. Micro- it's been so long since I've done Microbiotic? I don't know. They're microbiotic. Yeah, look, they help not, your not body everybody, a little way. Not everybody gets uh, fucking Delta Airlines as an advertiser, all right? <laughs> okay, sorry. Jesus. Mayor Bobble Dune. <laughs> well, this is amazing. What a Christmas miracle. <laughs> and a Gritsmas miracle. Yeah, a Gritsmas miracle. We're, we're ju- we just are running out of time. On we- the first day of Gritsmas. No, <laughs> no, no, Chris, we're not doing this. A book that explained what Gritsmas was all about. <laughs> and it was written by me. <laughs> we just have one final feature on the show. That's a little something called Plugs. I'm sitting in my parents' basement Searching for my next replacement Netflix show Point the clicker at the TV stand I wish someone would tell me when And where they're playing with their band Or a comic with a mic in hand Plug word bound I wish I was Plug word bound where your bands are playing plugs Where your jokes are saying plugs Where your content's waiting loudly for me Oh, wrapping up? Loudly nope. For me. <laughs> ah, now we're wrapping up, I bet. Uh, All right, that was Plug Word Bound by Mitch and Paul. Thank no, you so much. No, that was Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> no, uh, okay. They were in the doors. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're like when you're in that Home Depot. Um, all right, let's plug it up. Jason Manzoukas, what do you got to plug? Um, I will plug, uh, like you said earlier, I have a, a party in The Disaster Artist, which is out right now, and mm. is a terrific movie about the making of The Room, mm. um, which was a movie we featured on uh, my podcast, How Did This Get Made? That's right. Wonderful podcast. So still listen out to there. that podcast. Watch that movie, Eat Shit. Yeah. Gary Urbanski, you want oh. people to eat shit? No, it- 
absolutely not. I, I do need a job, though. Uh, <laughs> so if anyone needs to hire somebody, I got great people skills. I cannot see colors or shapes. Uh, so please <laughs> give me a reach. That's everything. You're blind. You're legally blind. I don't look colors at, or shapes. I don't look at screens, so I cannot receive an email. So please find my phone number and call me sometime. All right. Can you see your me, phone? Please. Uh, no, I just feel it ring, and then I pick it up. Okay, got it. It's got a smell tone, a uh, smell ring. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. Uh, Chris Matthews. They got you... hardball. Yeah, hardball. What about that book about they got, they got hardball. Bobby Kennedy five book? Nights a week. Yeah, five, five nights a week, hardball. What's I got that? another book called Bobby Kennedy. You know the story. <laughs> That's you know the name the of the book? It's, yes, it's Bobby me. Kennedy, yes, you know the story. Yeah, I'm, doing the thing, I'm doing the thing that they did, that with Fox News guy did for so long. You take an old thing and you yeah. cash in on it like you had something to say. I was a kid. I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> right. I, uh, why should I be writing a book about Bobby Kennedy? I was nowhere near at the time. I'm writing a book about it just to cash in because you'll buy it. <laughs> Anything else to plug? Any? Uh, yeah, there's uh, my Saturday show Yo, on MSNBC HD. That was uh, more room for Chris. Yeah, nice. <laughs> more room for Chris. Uh, anything uh, from any comedians that you uh, enjoy? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, just check us. Do a Google search. Be, you know, if you want. I, my favorite. <laughs> just put just the word do a comedians. Yeah, just my, put the word comedians. I would say if you have an interest in following your passions, go out there and find the information. It's out there. <laughs> All right, thank you, Chris. <laughs> Uh, MC Sugarbud. Gritsmas at my house. And everybody's invited. Mean and Keith. Thank you. My favorite candy is Heath. Oh, Dog Tales. Woo hoo. Doggy Dog Snoop. You know Snoop Dogg's music? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> okay. uh, Ming and Keith, what are you guys plugging? <laughs> Uh, we I'm lumping the, you together. Yeah, we the people <laughs> with uh, Gloria Allred as Judge Judy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's called We the but, People? Yes. <laughs> yes. That, there wasn't a change to that part of it. Um, and... And, and, yeah, something else. You said and. What is going and, on over there? I have a warning for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, man. Oh, boy. Ta take all the mirrors out of your house. <laughs> Why? Why? Because mirrors are windows for assholes. Oh. That's okay. a warning. Okay, thank you, man. It's for you, Scott. <laughs> you said everyone, so yeah, I know what's happening. I'm talking everyone. to you, Scott. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, uh, intern Gino. Uh, yeah, as always, you know, my three favorite Long Island comedians are Jerry Seinfeld, Alec Baldwin, uh, favorite <laughs> SNL cast member. Uh, finally giving that guy a break, letting him, you know, oh, get some yeah. young comedy chops out of the way and let him do it. Um, and then, of course, John Gabriels. Right. <laughs> He's uh, Long Island's own son. Who's that? Uh, he's he's actually not technically a comedian. Those anymore. other two I've heard of. This yeah. guy never heard of him. No, no, no. He hasn't been on a show that has been under a channel thousand yet. <laughs> yeah. So, but you might recognize him from every podcast. Great. Yeah. He has like a few hundred bucks in the bank. Um, <laughs> he's fucking great. Check out his podcast, The Action Boys, where they review action movies, and uh, he uh, also sells shirts at gamers.com slash shirts. What? <laughs> what? What? He you started can't... selling shirts. He started selling his own shirts. This comedian, you like. like? Yeah, that's, that's like, a sign. You know, that's a sign when someone's really like. Once a guy hits his mid thirties and he starts selling shirt? shirts. Why is that such a problem? I sell every shirt I perform in. <laughs> After the show, I go hardball and I toss it. Anybody wants to buy it? Is there a live audience? Sometimes every hardball? I smell like patchouli. Sometimes I smell like butter. <laughs> That's, that's one of the days of Gritsmas. <laughs> Butter. Day five. <laughs> All the way. We never I finished. thought it was day three. We, still, we never <laughs> finished we never the found final out two Gritsmas. Yeah. Day five, like of course, was your birthday. Not oh, six was pepper. <laughs> I can't uh, John Lennon, what do you book? Your birthday, the best of October? Was that it? And your December birthday, which that is the like best right of October. October. My birthday's in December, October too, remember. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get out of here, man. John, what do you got to play? Oh, I'll be going on the road with Mr. Heavenly. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, I had a great time with you guys, so I'll do some guitar solos if you want. I can do them all before the show. <laughs> you just pre-record them? Or? I'll jump, no, I'll jump out and do some guitar solos for the oh, audience. Just, just, and then they'll remember the solos yeah, when, no, when say, the songs come Thanks up? for letting me do that. Here's Mr. Heavenly to play their songs without okay. my solos in them. Interesting. interesting. And uh, yeah, check out my podcast, Questions for Lennon, and uh, 
uh, uh, we never talked about what I want for Christmas. Oh, what do you want? For I need Christmas? Tupperware. I've got spaghetti and bags all over the house. <laughs> okay, so if anyone wants to donate any Tupperware, <laughs> not, not, not donation. I, I wait, want you want new Tupperware. Wait, yeah, why please. all over the house? Why not just if it's in bags, yeah. keep it in the fridge. Keep it in the fridge. No, there are. I've got fridges in every room. Oh, oh got okay. it. Okay, I got yeah. a wine that'll go great with the spaghetti. <laughs> I, I don't know. Group. I do want to talk about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Mayor Bobble Doonery, what are you uh, plugging? Look, I just want to. Uh, promote the idea of putting a working engine in toy cars because it it right. can't be it can't be prohibitively expensive. I, what about remote controlled cars? Well, the then someone else big. is in control. Then yeah. someone else is in control. Got it, yeah. got it, got I'd got say it. just a tiny. It's probably expensive, engine. don't you think? I mean, to make a little tiny working like a like a like a, a combustion engine. engine? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Exactly. Well, maybe you could look into the one that the little mouse guy drove around. Stuart Little, he hates it. Okay, him. Oh. this motherfucker again. Oh. <laughs> Big mistake. Yeah, oh, you and, don't want to name drop St Stuart Little. And also, I, I, avoid it. I want to promote uh, <laughs> Zequil. It's uh, non addictive, over the counter sleep aid, helps mm -hmm. you sleep real deep. I want everyone to be able to sleep real deep. Oh, right. wait, very why? good. Uh, and to then get to be healthy, to feel good. Mm. Ernie Bread, you, you have anything to plug now? Yeah, that you're, I'd like uh, to plug. Uh, Comedy Bang Bang podcast in 2018. You're going to be hearing a lot more Ernie Brent. I, I, you're going to be hearing a lot more because you're living in the walls. Okay. But I don't think we're going to be hearing a lot more from uh, you. I don't know. You might just meet Ernie Brent Jr. next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I want to plug, hey, uh, go watch Comedy Bang Bang on Netflix. We have uh, three Christmas episodes that we did. The Lonely Island was on one and uh, Zach Galifianakis. And uh, I know we did another one, but uh, I don't remember it. Oh, yeah, Josh Groban. Those are all great episodes. Also watch the Michael Bolton uh, uh, big sexy Valentine's Day special because it's kind of an Airsoft's Christmas special itself. All right, well, let's close Valentine's up Valentine's special. Yeah, but it's got Santa in it, so uh, let's yeah, close up the Christmas old Christmas in July. Shut up! Let's close up the old plug bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. God, Jesse! I'm holding it open <laughs> like a creature in an anus. Oh, Jesse, get out of there! It's folding it on me. The perfect simile. Jesse, you've been trapped the entire year. I'm learning to love. <laughs> we have an intentional community. Bring oh. your loved one. Oh, God, it's closed. Oh. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Scott, Another for wonderful us. year. Uh, love, you love all of you, me. other than Ernie. What? <laughs> when you said that, you did not look at me. So you're behind so many people right <laughs> well, now. Well, who put me here? <laughs> well, you seated you me <laughs> behind someone, <laughs> so you don't have to give me any. Uh, Respect. Eye contact. You dis, uh, you you disrespect me. You make me a buffoon. i no. I'm not clowning you, Ming. Come, let, tell you what. Come back. Come back next year. We'll work all this out. Okay. What a generous invitation. Come back next year. <laughs> okay. Let's not I, talk until then. After I go watch three Christmas specials at once, <laughs> I will put them at the same time on different devices and consume them simultaneously. Thank you, Ming. I appreciate that. We do have to go once more. Or to our uh, sponsor for the day, Perillo Tours. Perillo Tours, yes. Yeah, uh, Perillo here? Everyone, or? if you'd like to get on a Perillo <laughs> tour, all you do is go to the nearest body of water and call three times. Perillo, Perillo, Perillo. All right, everyone get to the pond and call out Perillo. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we want to hear another song from Mr. Heavenly. You guys ready yes. to do uh, another one? Let's do it, yeah. And what is this one called? Do you know Valeri? <laughs> Valeri? You know, we didn't ask Mr. Heavenly for a plug. Yeah, well, obviously we're plugging Boxing the Moonlight, your record out uh, now. Uh, yeah. Can't box the moonlight! Mm -hmm. and this song's called Hamer Drop. Hamer Drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. in, in memory of Norm Hamer. Yeah, yeah, so all right, plug you. Norm Hamer. All right, Thank you. Uh, all right, while these guys are setting up, I want to say thanks to everyone who's listened throughout the year. Uh, it's always a pleasure to do the show. And uh, check us out next week uh, where we start our first, the first of our four-part Best Of episodes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jesus. This is incredible. Uh, uh, we'll be uh, Monday, Thursday, Monday, and Thursday, and then we'll be back to our normal schedule. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Mr. Heavenly, take us out with one song. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Heavenly. <laughs>
See you next year. Thanks, bye. First in news. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, cash is easy to lose and checks take a while to clear. Thankfully, there's Zelle, a new way to send money to your friends and family from your banking app. Once you've enrolled, the money moves right between almost any U.S. bank account and is typically there in minutes. Plus, it's backed by the major banks, which means you can send money confidently. Just go to ZellPay.com. That's Z-E-L-L-E Pay.com to learn more. Zell, this is how money moves. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.com.